Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we've now got a good chunk of astro science done. Energy 2 is already ready to go. We need four more data cards for material science. And Astro 3, um, let's see, products finished is zero on radio wave data still, but I think that's literally just because we're short on supercooled thermofluid. Nick Knock, good to see you again, a oh, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Um, actually, I think I'll put another thermofluid, uh close to some of the other sciences. Um, we'll spread them out relatively evenly. So I think I'll put a thermofluid um, block over here. Um, maybe I'll have to iterate on the design, but if we build them well, we should only need like maybe four blocks for the entire playthrough. Been a bit. Hope everything's been going well for you. Happy New Year. Thank you. And you too. Alright, thermofluid is going here. Ish. Uh, I think this will be the spot. Let's grab our scaffolding train, which looks like it's ready to go. I keep wanting to add a uh, rail to these things. Yeah, let's add, like, uh, I don't know, 2,000 rail? I did do that already. Why are they not? Oh, our limit for how much rail we make is is probably too low. Oh, I didn't set the requests on these because they're not automatically set. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, so I want, like, 500 rail in each of these blocks, I think. Uh, each of these containers. Um, but do we actually make enough rail to spread it out that much? Where are we making rail? Wait, that's a good question. Where are we making our space rail? Um, I thought I automated it in the auto-crafter. Here it is, 2,000. Uh, which means there wouldn't be enough to come down here as well. What's this looking for? 1.4k. Alright, let's double it. 4k rail. Uh, Jeeba, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We won't wait for it to get loaded into the train this time. Let's just park ourselves over here for the scaffolding. Um, and then we'll send our construction train to follow. Wait until plenty of inactivity. Good afternoon, T-Hex. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Budgie, as well. Fraser K, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we going to add the third reactor today? That might be a good idea. I mean, it seems like we still have... Ooh. What are those power spikes? Uh, what, what, where did they go? What, what were those spikes? I don't know. That was kind of weird. Zern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Happy New Year to you as well. And we should be able to place another block of thermofluid here in just a moment. 
Oh, there's a bit of... The blueprint doesn't have scaffolding here for the... the bulk rail. That's weird. There we go. Alright. Get out of here, you. Wait, what's it doing? What is it doing? Solar panels, I guess. Fair enough. And are you going to go now? Fantastic. In comes our construction train, and we're going to need more pipes for this, I'm pretty sure. So let's have it come back here after one more trip to the loader. Uh, we do have all the buildings, though, surprisingly enough. Uh, I need to bring some vanilla storage tanks. That doesn't happen often, so I'll just handcraft them. Why is my acceleration this low? It almost felt like we weren't still at 60. There's our chemical gel already. If it came this quickly, it probably means chemical gel is well and truly caught up. Fantastic. That means this build. Oh yeah, we already knew that. Multi-spectral mirrors. Uh, uh, sorry, gamma ray detectors, the fancier mirrors, are already doing pretty well. We're actually bottlenecked on multi-spectral mirrors. Um, not that we desperately need more right now. Why do we have no LDS? It might actually be a material shortage. Yep. Uh, no, it's... We're just making LDS too slow. Okay. Let's put some wide area beacons over this way. And maybe over here as well. I'll go pay them a visit, but not before... Actually, not before nothing. I've already scheduled the construction train to come finish this build. We will double check it's working, though. Where's our spell evader? Yeah, I think I will put the new reactor in, even if we're doing okay for the moment. I want to have room to expand without thinking too hard about it. I'll just double check our... Uranium fuel cells have been doing well, it looks like it. What are we short on here? Regular uranium. Uh... Hmm. I think I should change this. We're gonna cycle back the uranium that's in this container. Unfortunately, I can't quite just line it up like this. Oh, can I? That's not bad, actually. So, this part isn't considered to be available to the train network. Um, this will fill up a whole train. And everything that comes here can cycle back. So it can be used for... Um, Poverex and making uranium fuel cells. That seems good. So we'll have to change this to 10k. Um, if it's equal, set train limit. 
to one. That should be fine, actually. I think. Uh, short trains, long trains are fine. Provide stack threshold 100. And let me go attend to that first. Oh, we got some zone discovery. We got a moon called Warlock. Uh, it's Cryonite. I'm I'm on a Cryonite world. I couldn't be less excited about this one. Um, but it is smallish, kind of far from Hagen. Good solar. Uh, a, a few biters, but the planet's small enough to clear it out. If we weren't living on a Cryonite world, that might be... Why Why are you no-pathing? What? Okay. 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 How about... No? Do I go back and right? Uh, that'll work. No, 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 don't go into that train. Oh god. Oh god. So forward is taking me to the left, which makes it a bit more confusing. Back and left? There we go. There we go. Back you go. Fantastic. Concrete train holding up the network, yeah. I parked it in a place where it got confused about how to get home. Uh, this looks good to me now. This looks pretty good. And that part's already saturated. Okay. Did I already set this to a full cargo wagon? I did. Fantastic. And we should have plenty of uranium over here. Nice. Um, I think it is time to make another reactor. But first, we need to update LDS to go faster. Go home train your drunk, indeed. What's our rate here? Negative 80%. Negative 70%. I think I'd rather go with that. And more speed. Negative 70% power consumption is almost as good as it gets. Right, so now I didn't check the rate before, but our LDS uh, can now get Produced uh, 23.76 per second, which for LDS is pretty quick. Should be fine. Okay. There's actually a ton of LDS here. It's just that I think I set it up so that we don't have... No? I wonder why the vanilla train went for this one as opposed to this one. Well, either way is fine now. Happy New Year's, Akira. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I would like to put... I think I'll have to move some of these names. Because I would really like to put the next reactor... Uh, an equal distance across this way. Why do you have that lying around? Okay. We'll need some landfill. And I'll need to reorganize some of these uh, pumps. But that shouldn't be too much trouble. Probably a shorter path to the right one. Since the left needs the roundabout to get in. Yeah, quite likely. Because the vanilla train will just go for the nearest one every time. Unless we put train limits in, which I don't feel like doing when I don't have to. Every bit of, every every little bit of extra logic that has to be done 
adds ever so slightly to the UPS cost. Okay, I need some offshore pump. Do we even make those here? We don't. I always just handcraft them. Uh, how many offshore pumps does it take to support one of these? I believe it is eight. Let's do that. And a bunch of steel underground pipes, that's fine. Maybe I should start using pylons over here. Um, I need nuclear reactors. Oh. I guess I've been handcrafting those too. I don't build them that often so far. So I guess that makes sense. But don't they take a while to make? 120 seconds. Oh, I didn't click storage. No, that makes more sense. Maybe we had some offshore pumps as well. Uh, heat pipe is over here. I think... Well, we've got less than two stacks here. I'm pretty sure that's all we need with this reactor design. Uh, and only... I can't see. Only 32 heat exchanges. Alright. Oh, and steam turbines, of course. Steam turbine? I'll just take as many as I can carry right now. And we'll see if that gets it done. Oh, I forgot to bring more landfill. We'll figure it out. Okay, uh, I would like to move these names over here, perhaps? And you can have that back. Um, this is just going to disconnect the pumps, which isn't going to cause an issue too quickly. Oh, it's not going to be in the way of the, um, uh, the core seam, is it? Why am I copy-pasting? I should have a blueprint. Uh, it should be under power. K2. Did I put it under the SEK2 book, or? Yeah, here it is. Okay. So if we're going to put it here, it would in fact be over the core seam. I don't want that. How about down here? Um, it's going to make it a little more difficult to get the, all the water in here, but I think it'll be okay. rescue the fishies. Don't get landfilled, little fishy. Doop a doop again? Uh, what do we got? Zone discovery. Uh, that's an asteroid belt. Don't care. Let me remove the old power poles that were in the way here. And I'll replace the blueprint. Already my inventory is full of stone and coal. Um, we're going to want some offshore pumps over this way. 
One and two. Let's get some lighted pylon substation. We need a couple of pumps down here. Preferably directly in. That looks good. Uh, that might be good. Where's my offshore pump? Oh, perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Probably a shorter path to... Oh, yes, yes. Uh, okay. So we've done half of the inputs for this already. This is rather convenient. Right here. And just a few pieces of pipe. I need to bring a lot more accumulators and steam turbines. And a few solar panels wouldn't hurt, I guess. Uh, request a chest, you say. And then active provider chest. Can I just handcraft some solars? Absolutely not. Okay. I need... One, two, three, four water input. Let's do it from over here. Where are my pumps? One, two, three, four. Would the holmium accumulators uh, better be better than standard? Sure, but we don't really need them just yet. We don't have that much flow of uh, holmium after all. Why does this go up here? Oh, okay. Oh, these are already connected still. That's good. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think we broke seven and eight over here. I could get them from there, but I don't think we really need to. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. It's fine. Let's just do it like this. And one more melon substation. We're also going to need some more large storage tanks, but... Wait, no, we're not. Well, I was going to say those would automatically get supplied anyway. Uh, where does this go? Oh, that's perfect. And then this one... We're just going to... Oh, don't take that. How dare you. Actually, could I move this over? That looks nice. That looks good. Okay. One more substation. I guess we don't need this. And I'll just double check, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All our water inputs are done. We are connected to the robot network. Uh. Oh. 
Oh, because I didn't have the blue chests when I made this. That makes sense. Let's update these just for the hell of it. Um, but I would like to do it without my bots. How many construction bots are in here? Eight. That's not enough. Okay. So then we just request uranium fuel cells and oh. Wait, why did that result in... Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow... What overconfidence? Dear Zsa, Zsa welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't know why it just put... Uh, just took some fuel out. That was strange. Oh, no. No, the steam turbines are still running. We're still... Not connected to the main power network. Let's fix that. Oh, that's already connected. Pylon over yonder. Fantastic. Hope we didn't cause a bunch of problems. We did cause a bunch of problems. Uh, all of these are waiting to go to the mall. But I do have things set up so that if we get uh, 200 stacks of something in the mall, it offers it to the rail network. So that'll sort itself out. Was that what the overconfidence was about? Um, did I handcraft the wrong... Oh no, I didn't turn my robots back on yet. Well, there's your problem. And then we'll need to... I was going to say I'll need to manually input some fuel, but that's not true. Actually, it would probably be a good idea. Uh, and this side looks fine. Yeah, that'll be okay. Alright, let's go back and get some more steam turbines, accumulators, and a handful of solar panels. Solutionary, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. Good to see you again. I think we've got panels in here. Yep. And accumulators, and steam turbines. Those are condenser turbines. I was hoping I could remember where I picked them up. Here they go. I think that's everything. Um, is, how many accumulators are here? 76, more than a stack. Okay. We don't really need them, I just feel like completing the build neatly. doop a -doop. Uh, Karura. Let's have a look. Right after I park myself over here. And we'll get this thing started. Boom. Do we not have power? What's going on? Oh. Oh no. Uh. 
Everything was fine a second ago. What happened to our electricity? How is this empty? What? Um... Two reactors were more than enough a minute ago. Uh, uh, what? Okay. I think we're not pumping enough water in. I think I need to separate these from... From the main network. That might be the reason. Oh, wind turbines. Wind turbines would definitely be better. I forgot those were a thing for a minute there. you're still heating up, that's fair. And that one's fine. Uh, I was going to say it's probably okay if some of them are on main power, but no, nah, let's not do that. sources. Except this one. Uh, separate from the main network. And can work unconditionally. Cool. Are the reactors still connected to the umbrella? I believe so. Where even do we have an umbrella? Uh, we've got one over here. I thought I had one... I should move it over here, where we have all of our global defenses. It's in the old, uh, the old place. Maybe I should even do a ba uh, battery backup, a uh, steam battery backup. I haven't even thought about parental mass ejections for a while. Energy beams. There's one heading for Granus. Uh, and that's not for f nearly 16 hours. I don't know if we've had one on Hagen. Where am I going? This is the perfect spot for it. Okay. Now we're at like 50% power, that's good. That's very good. Wait, is that reactor online now? Yeah, it is. Cool, cool, cool. This should carry us for a good while. Three reactor island. where nothing could possibly go wrong.
Uh, what else did I want to do? Also, how much have we got here? 2.4... Uh, 3.7 thousand uranium fuel cells. Fantastic. You know what? I think that's probably enough of a buffer, honestly. I think it's safe to say... Uranium fuel cells are doing okay now. I could leave this here to warn me if... Um... Warn me if, I, if we're getting low on uranium fuel cells. Let's say less than 2k. That's a pretty... Pretty big buffer. I dare say we'll have time to fix it before things get really bad. If we sound the alarm at 2000. Alright, so we sped up... Uh... Yeah, now we're, now we're actually maybe bottlenecked on resources? Wait, what? Is it belts or something? 60 per second, that is a no. Wait, yes, it, that's a yes. We're pushing through 45 per second. This is probably why I had one more efficiency module in there. Since we can't actually go that fast with the belt layout. Let's see... Forty-eight per second? That's slightly bottlenecked on the belt. That's probably fine. Especially because... We'll just end up saturating the output. And making these in bursts. Wherein the input belt is already saturated for a while. Alternatively, I could do double into double here. Is anything else going to bottleneck? Uh, we need the same amount of copper. That's going to be tricky to fit. I'm just not going to worry about it. If we need to go faster, I'll replace this with um, advanced assembly machines. We'll redo the build. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm sure we're going to struggle to keep up with the inputs as it is. Okay. So we fixed. Uh, we fixed this. We fixed this. We fixed this. Can we actually add something new now? Wait, what is this? Oh, the bots don't have anywhere to go. Uh, fine, I'll add a storage chest. A generic one. Wait, won't that cause... Where am I going? This is outputting to a purple chest. We're just going to need to have more storage. I think that's probably fine. Okay, we've discovered Eisen. Uh, it's another... Oh, it's a mineral water planet in the Timiga system. Distance is okay. I mean, it's kind of far. No biters. Uh, decent radius. 
decent solar probably means it's pretty far from the edge of the map. From the uh, exit to the interstellar map, that is. Where's Timicus again? Here it is. Eisen is way over here. Okay. We will almost definitely tap it for Vulcanite eventually. Or, but I say eventually, it'll probably be my first target when we get, um... When we get spaceships. Speaking of which... Um, is this all working? I don't see fluid here. We have no copper plate. That doesn't sound good. Copper plate... Oh, I wonder if I could fit advanced... No, we can't put advanced assembly machines up in space, can we? Um, We've got plenty of copper plate here, so what's the problem? What is the problem? There's zero copper plate here. Request stack threshold, 100. We've got a request for 10... K. I keep clicking on this as if it's the calculator. Oh, 1k? Is that a, just a typo? I think it's just a typo. And I didn't upgrade the blue, uh, update the blueprint. Let's do that now, because I noticed another mistake with it earlier. Whoops. Okay. Actually, let me remove all this extra scaffolding. Thermo fluid. Whoops. Don't want that little hole there either. And tidy up some of this other nonsense. This'll do, I suppose. Oh, wait, wait, wait. While we're here... Um, I would like to move all of these over a tile. Is that going to reach if I do that? I don't think it is. We're going to have to get a little creative. And this is going to have to change. Over we go. And then we can put a pump here. Oh, wait, no. Don't tell me. Is it too late to do that down here? It's not. Let's, uh, let's turn this pump around. Cool, cool, cool. We'll update this over here. Pretty sure there's no cryonite slush that's been delivered. Oh, there has. God damn it. I'll go over there personally and fiddle with it. But first. Um, first, I think this will be fine.
and then we can do some comparison. If I do separate wire colors, there's nothing to connect this to. Hmm. What if I just do a red wire? It touches all of this. And that doesn't reach, does it? I can piggyback across this. And then we can compare how much we've got of each. So if uh, cold thermofluid is greater than really cold thermofluid, then push cold thermofluid this way. Seems good. Maybe I could add a few more pumps, like... Or I could, I could connect these pumps. So we only want to push more cold thermofluid into the train pickup if the inverse is true. Seems good to me. Does this reach... Nope, never mind. It's kind of arbitrary to read from these two containers, but it's fine. It's close enough. And that should have all of these fluids continuing to go where we need them to. Okay. And I'll update this to say 10k. Alright, how's this research going? 76%. I don't want to miss it because it seems to disappear from the notification over here at the very least if I'm in the editor. Thermo fluid. Um, step to grid. Eighty six twenty five one. Fantastic. And let's replace our old one. And head over and do that. Were we still Immersium mining as well today? Uh, yeah, I want to go get the infinite Immersium. I don't know, it depends on how long our current supply lasts. Uh, that we're getting from Gibil. Because I'd much prefer to set it up with spaceships, if I can. But we might not get that far. Uh, Tom Lee, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Came back to another blackout, indeed. Shouldn't be another one for a while. Okay, and I was heading down this way. Where's our new build? Here it is. If I do some pick a dolly's magic. Oh, I need some more scaffolding as well. Uh, doop -a doop what do we got? Darien. 
Phytomedias and Waterless. Lovely. Vitamelange. It's in the Brunner system. Uh, it is pretty far away, actually. Not really interested in that. Okay. Let me just move this over carefully. Uh, let's get a train over here with our scaffolding and wait here indefinitely. To improve the rocket fuel build at Gibil to increase the frequency of deliveries of the ore from there, um, I'm actually just sending like uh, solid rocket fuel to Gibil as a stopgap. Since it ran out of oil. Oh, no, not Gibil. Uh, Exorion. Oh, hey, it's launching. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. How's your stream today? Here it is. Incoming barrel, fantastic. Uh, let's get some more scaffolding over here. And that's actually really going to confuse things. Okay. We're just going to pick dollies, everything across. One tile. Should be fine. Oh no. Well, that was... Didn't matter, actually. Uh, and now we can fit our pump in here. That should be everything. Uh, bulk rail loader is in the way. Yeah, that is how that works. Cool. So now we should have some better logic control on this to balance, um, balance cool and cold thermofluid output. Instead of having to completely saturate one How are you doing? Not too bad, thanks for asking. Oh, my robots are off. That wouldn't help. Alright, uh, I'd like to go and update the other thermofluid block with this. It's way up here. Once again, this will be a little bit fiddly. And some more scaffolding. Decided to raid you today because I don't get to do it a lot. Fair enough. It's just yesterday, I think, actually, that I raided someone. It was like a rare opportunity. Uh, are you done? Should be. Yes. Seems good. Construction train up here, please. And wait for me. Okay, let's move all these over. I may have forgotten to make sure that connects. I did. 
Oh, it's already connected. We can just remove those two. Oh, these two also? Did I not include that? I did not. I broke it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go over there to not waste fluid. That should be fine. Then we can put our pump here. I think that's everything. Uh, and let's update this as well. Now I have to do this blueprint again. Eighty six twenty five one. Fantastic. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, no, the snap two looks fine, actually. Don't want to miss the zone discovery. Thermo fluid goes here. And I should be able to... Oh no, there's like an extra piece of rail that it's adding. Okay. Can I remove it this way? Might be a little tricky. But that might have done it, actually. Alright, we seem to have our logic in place. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and that should approximately keep these two equal. Uh, you know, after we take some negative 100 degree thermofluid. And prevent this from having to completely saturate before we start making negative 273. Fantastic. Unfortunately, we're bottlenecked on uh, cold thermofluid. Oh, sorry. Cool thermofluid. Because we don't have. Uh, we don't have the Thermal Radiator 2 that this was built for. We actually need Astro 4 for that? That's kind of harsh. Um, but yeah, I think that's... That's our Thermo Fluid updated. Going at about half speed because of that bottleneck. Cool, cool, cool. What's next? Uh, we need to make Astro 3. I haven't yet done a block for the tier 3 and 4 catalogs, but I think it's just going to be a copy-paste edit of this, actually. Or do we also have to give blank data cards or something? Nope, it is four solids in, one solid out with thermofluid. It's going to be the exact same layout. That's easy enough. Let's let this research finish. I could just pause it, I guess. Let's do that. Jump into the editor. 
Um, clear this out. Add our standard block. Some scaffolding. Oh, maybe not that much scaffolding. And we'll grab our blue... Oh, wait, no, I didn't even need to do that. Can I undo? Uh, this is probably easier. Let's grab our blueprint for some kind of catalogs. And just edit this to be tier 3. Actually, when do we get the advanced research servers? Uh, wow, not for a while. Bio 3, Energy 3, and Material 3. Never mind. Since we need tier, uh, three tier 3s to get this done anyway, we may as well just make this with the small ones to start with. And tier 4. And we need to change the inputs. Radio wave, gamma ray, dark matter, negative. Radio wave, gamma ray, dark matter, negative pressure. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah. And these four are Dark, Energy, Micro, Black Hole, Zero Point, and Asteroid Probe. Uh, in other words, the last four here. Micro, Black Hole... Wait, what? That's... That's not how this works. Uh, dark Energy Data, Micro, Black Hole Data... Zero point energy data and asteroid belt probe data. Oh, and the temperatures are different, I think. High speed, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Um, uh, did I shout out Andy? There we go. Alright, so we need to change these. It'll still be 6k of each. Radio wave... Gamma ray, dark matter, and negative pressure. You're welcome. Great, I've secured the southern part of South America. Nice. Uh, what are we... Yeah, so instead of negative 100, the tier 3 and 4? Cool, uses negative 273. That works out really well. Uh, that goes here. Okay. So that one's done, except for the station. Wait, no, this goes on the left. Station. There we go. So this is going to be radio wave, mic uh, gamma ray. Dark matter data, negative pressure data, damn it, uh, and also the coldest of thermofluid goes into one of these eventually and makes catalog 3. 
Um, and this will be basically the same thing except for a couple of symbols. Alright, so... Dark energy data. Micro black hole data. Zero point energy data. Asteroid belt probe data. And then same thing over here. Extended catalog. And a one. And a two. And a three. And a four. And then we'll just change the output station names. Catalog three. I'm pretty sure it all comes out as 25 degree. Yes, it does. Uh, and this one is catalog four. And then we'll have to do it all over again for three other sciences as well. Let's blueprint. Catalog three, catalog four. Eighty six twenty five one. Cool. And let's actually get it built. And let's continue that research. Alright, where do I want to put Astro 3 and 4? Wait, have I not even built Astro 1 and 2 for the catalogs? Uh, I haven't. Alright, I kind of want to put them all here. Pretty sure I have the blueprint for both. Fantastic. Technically, it would make more sense to put this closer to... no, nah, it won't make that much difference. I kind of want one, two, three, four in order. doop a -doop. What do we got? Oswolf. Which is... super close. And we get Iridite. Moderate sized planet, not too many biters. Um, that's pretty attractive in the near term. It's in the Asimius system. Which is, like, right next door. There it is. Sharon is copper. We've already got some copper. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to go there, but Oswolf, Erudite, Lots of it. Um, that's looking pretty good. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's grab our scaffolding train, which I haven't allowed to go home yet, actually. Let's do the construction train over here first. Just so we get some rail... Actually, this will do. Wait for inactivity. Uh, and then we'll get the scaffolding train to visit this spot. And I'm going to ride them home. And it should start scaffolding right about now. Uh, or it would if I had enabled logistics while moving. Fantastic. Cool. Um, did I already do material 3 and 4? I did not. Neither the catalogs or the actual data cards. Let's get started on that while the trains are doing their thing.
Actually, if I go into the editor while I'm in a train, I think it might do something weird. I'll just wait here. Technically, it would probably be more efficient um, if I did all the catalogs back to back, but that's just going to be tedious. Oh no. Unnecessary rail in our blueprint. Can I fix it easily? I mean, I'm standing right next to it, so yeah, kinda. Uh, can I just, like, right-click this? If there's another unneeded piece of rail there, I can't see it. Oh, here we go. One, two, three. Fantastic. Oh, the trains are already... No, the construction train is good to go. Do we have all our, our scaffolding? I think we do. Uh, Alright, Astro 1 and 2. Astro 3 and 4. Construction train. Pay us a visit. And I'm sure we'll need more than one trip. Pay us another visit after you go back. Fantastic. Into the editor we go. And scaffolding. Can go here. Don't tell me it's part of this blueprint. No, it's not. Uh, Alright, data cards for material 2. We've got rigidity data, pressure containment data, corrosion data, and impact shielding data. I'll just double check that to be sure. Yes. So let's start with... Rigidity data. I think some of a, a lot of these again are going to be about the same shape, with some minor variations. Mechanical facility. Actually, why don't I borrow from myself? Do any of these already have mechanical facilities? They do. Bet it's going to be very similar. Rigidity data. So we've got one fluid in, one fluid out. Uh, girders get recycled. We also output scrap. And three inputs, including lots of material testing packs. Which probably... Yeah. It's only three solids in, so we don't need this many uh, belt filters. Mithy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, can we use the same layout? Uh, looks like it. In fact, we've even got the swapping in place already. Uh, we want... Rigidity data and scrap out. Girders will get swapped automatically. How fast are we consuming the stuff here? Not very fast. That should be fine. We do need two belts since we've got three... Um, three inputs. But the actual input rate for all of these is super slow. I think I'll put... Um, 
testing packs on this belt here. We've already got blank data cards here. This becomes girders. And that's pretty much it. Are we already requesting loop? We are. So I just get rid of steel and put girders here. Simple as that. 6,000. Probably 1.5 train loads. Yes, it is. So girders, it should be the same as this. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'll move this over a tile. And then equal and opposite on this side. Um, so we're actually requesting girders and outcomes. Outcomes rigidity data. And I think on this side we had a different... Yeah, it's two different uh, recipes, right? So for broad it is rigidity and then pressure. Is pressure also done here? I don't think it is. Pressure is done in a thermodynamics facility. Uh, what else have we got? Corrosion and impact shielding. Corrosion resistance is in a mechanical facility. And seems to have about the same shape. So we might do that here. Uh, impact uh, is also done in a mechanical facility, but I think this one will demand its own its own build because look at that scrap. What a glory to behold. Let's do corrosion data here. Um, and once again, regular scrap is our output. They both output contaminated cosmic water and scrap. That works out beautifully. Don't have to change this one at all. Um... This one does have four inputs, including iridium plate. Yeah, I literally just have to change concrete to glass here. Concrete to glass. And this one was corrosion. Corrosion resistance data. Uh, except for the minor detail that it is going to have to have its own fluid drop off. Chemical gel. And we'll just do the same thing over here. Material science generates a ton of scrap. It really does. And then, of course, we change this to rigidity data, corrosion, resistance data. Technically, I could have had this make scrap go to the right. Um, and it would have been easier if we were copy-paste editing, but I kind of like this better. Shows what we actually want. Alright, do the inserters keep up? Uh, they definitely do. 
And I think all that's left is to do some test inputs. Rigidity data. And corrosion data. Corrosion. Double check that these are up to date. That looks fine. Fantastic. Okay. So this is lubricant. This is... No! This is why we test. Uh, chemical gel. And then we can just go infinity chest. Uh, inserters. Set filters blacklist. And then shift right click, shift left click for the solids. Because there's four or fewer solid inputs. Nice. I was not ready for the scrap explosion from material science, indeed. Trotsky, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, that does seem to be working, question mark. Oh, I need to output rigidity data and scrap on this side. And on this side, it needs to be corrosion. And I didn't even have to know... I, I didn't even have to stop to think about um, that we're recycling the iridium plate here. Although, I kind of expected it. Cool, cool, cool. That's looking pretty good, except we're accumulating girders in here. No, it went down to four. It's probably fine. It's probably not a problem. Probably. It's well within acceptable limits. Sustaining sequence. Uh, how dare you, first of all? And then... Let's put some scaffolding in the little gaps, otherwise it's going to look tacky. Or extra tacky. that better. That looks pretty sketch as well. Okay. Uh, we're not accumulating too much of these, are we? This has 14. I'm a little concerned that it's not... Uh, should be okay. Right? Right? Because the amount of girders we need, we get 50% back.
I don't know. We're gonna find out. No glass on the right? Uh oh, over here. Because I didn't change the filter. I wonder if that's why the one on the right is not the key uh not very slowly accumulating iridium plate. Fantastic, indeed. Alright, let's blueprint this thing. So far, easier than expected. That is half of the data cards for Material 2? Or is it Material 3? Uh, it's Material 2. Dub. 55, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, that seems to be our build. Rigidity plus corrosive. Snap 2 looks good. And that's going to go here. Uh, and that just leaves two more builds, but first let's actually get the trains doing something productive. Also throw all of these modules at it. How's our power up here? Not bad actually. Come to think of it, we should be able to expand. Beautiful. Um, construction train... Oh no. Oh no no no. Uh... You... Should not be asking for thermofluid. And you should not be asking for thermofluid. Okay. How about you go over here instead? And then back to the depot. And why is there a problem over here? Oh, it's trying to go to the same block. Apparently this one didn't manage to cause a problem yet. Probably because we don't have enough negative 273 degree thermofluid. Uh, it's close though. This one still hasn't produced any. Oh, I need to send the construction train over there. Let's do that first. I might still have some speed modules up here. Oh, we've got uh, LDS, therefore multi-spectral mirror. Fantastic. Uh, do I have speed modules here? I do not. I'll have to go back for those. Alright. First of all, I want to fix this really quick. Damn, that's quick. Construction train go burr. Didn't I have a specific color on this before? Yeah, it's over here. Let's copy paste from the back of the train to the front. And... I think this is all done now, actually. It's just taking its sweet time. Oh, I haven't given it a beacon. Did I do that up here? I did. So it was between the fourth and fifth one. 
Oh, I probably don't have any scaffolding here right now. Uh, we'll get back to that. I want to give that some modules as well. I should have the construction train at least carry some scaffolding. Let's park over here again. Didn't I turn a pump as well? Yeah, I think I turned that back. I did. It's just very slow because I don't have speed modules. Oh. Should probably put speed modules in here as well. Okay. Did we finish all of this? Uh, yes. Yes, we did. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna head back. For some modules. Use this as a taxi. Into the spell elevator we go. Oh, and so do many trains. Vroom vroom. Uh, speed modules. Lots of them, I think. Did some of my bots just jump out? No, we're good. Speed modules. May as well take some more efficiencies as well. Also, may as well drop off some of this stuff that's no good in space. Well, that might be good in space, but usually I get the train to do it. Okay, that's going to be a little bit better. Up the elevator we go. Auto save we go. Did you ever use that military tank at all? Not really. It was pretty disappointing, honestly. It's just, uh, with K2, the amount of power that personal lasers need, it, it's too much, man. It, it's, it's just too much, at least until you have ridiculously high tech. Uh, before we go, let's speed this up and put this in here. That's going to be quite a lot faster. In fact, it's bottlenecked on the inserters. We can fix that pretty quickly. Very quickly, actually. Wow. And we'll do the same thing up here. In we go. Oh, I added like three inserters to do this. Yeah, we don't need that many. Not anymore. That's one speedy boy. Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, what's next? Probably putting down the build that we just designed. 
Uh, rigidity plus corrosive data. Once our scaffolding train is ready to go, that is. Which shouldn't be long. No, it should be almost ready. It's pretty fun to see those inserters constantly move at maximum speed. We got to speed up the old one? The old one? What do you mean? No, we just updated the old one. Oh, speed modules in here. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I think our scaffolding train is ready, so... Let's hop in... Send it over here, and I'll safely jump out of the speeding train. And nothing bad can possibly happen when I do that. I'll just jump out here. Safety. I mean, it's already quite a lot faster, but this is even better. Obviously. Fantastic. What's our rate like for regular thermofluid now? We're still... Uh, <laughs> we're still negative 533 out of making it at 36 per second, but that discounts, you know, bringing it back after we cycle it. It's fine. And let's grab our construction train. Actually, we're going to need mechanical facilities. Quite a lot of them. Uh, what do we got? 24. We can fit that in here quite easily, I think. Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That took no time at all. And that'll be our build. Pretty sure I don't even have to babysit it anymore. Rigidity data and corrosive data. Fantastic. We're still making hot and cold data. Probably because we were bottlenecked on material testing packs because... Purple rocks. Uh, but the inputs for the... Oh wow, yeah, material t catalog uh, tier 1 is totally saturated. That's good. Alright, so one or two more builds. Um, possibly two more before we get material 2. Uh, because impact shielding data is ex a bit extreme. We're probably just going to give it its own block. Although I'm curious as to which one was it? Was it friction data? No, it was pressure containment data. I wouldn't be surprised if pressure containment follows the exact same layout. Uh, it does not. Fair enough. Oh, we need to mass produce storage tanks? Is this the only thing that consumes them like this? In space, anyway. Rocket fuel tank, condenser turbine. Well, I'll want to be able to make condenser turbines at the mall anyway. Cargo rocket silo, hypercooler. Oh, we're already making them at the mall. Yeah. Um, 
We've definitely already got vanilla tanks here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we just need to produce enough of them. 150 stacks. Make it like 8,000. We just have to produce enough of them here that the rail network can pick them up. And I'm pretty sure that's the only place where we're going to need continuous throughput for them. The only science? Yeah. So I think, uh, I think this is more than fast enough. Probably. Let's see what kind of rate we're looking at. Uh, was it laser facility? Pressure containment data. Thermodynamics facility. What? What? No, that's not... Um... If we get, like, three data cards per second at least, we're looking at one tank per second. Yeah, I'm not worried. I am definitely not worried. I don't think we need a dedicated build for the storage tanks. Might have to put the fast inserters in at your mall. Yeah, I'll get around to it. Let me tidy this up first. And then... Space scaffolding. Um, potentially get rid of those. What was I going to do? Thermodynamics. Pressure containment data. Just enough speed to pay a minimal power cost. Plus 320% is not really what I'm... There we go. Not really what I'm looking for. Negative 70 is good. Um, and we'll do the usual... Easy 12 machines. I think. Whatever, that's fine. Oh, wow. No, I can't fit this many. Was it... How many did I put in these builds? Twelve in total under each beacon. Okay. That should be fine. I'm sure it's more than enough. So we've got one, two, three solid inputs. Cosmic water gets recycled. Uh, it actually net only consumes it at 68 per second. But we, knew, we do need a thousand uh, for each input. Maybe I could have the cosmic water go directly from one machine to the other. Nah. That, that's a no from me, actually. That should all fit quite cozily. And... That's a lot of scrap output. Uh, 340 per second. Okay. 
Yeah, this is going to be a little bit like... Uh, the, the impact shielding data. Where are my mechanical facilities? Give me some speeds. This is 12 machines, right? Impact shielding data... 306 per second. This is actually potentially worse? It's not worse for the ratio of data cards we get. That's a lot of scrap, it really is. I did a special... A uh, special layout for this last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I ended up using the same layout for these two. Because they've got such aggressive um, scrap production. And I don't think we need that many machines, honestly. I should compare the rates of some of our other builds. We're looking at only four. That's with the speed modules. And negative 70% power consumption. Four per second for these two. Uh, can't really see this one properly. Four per second for these two. I think four is a decent target, honestly. So just one of these gives us a tenth of that. Uh, let's do 10. And on this side, 3 is enough? Really? That's kind of bizarre. Do we need more pressure containment data in other places? Um, not really. Don't think I'm going to be doing this. So I really do only need a few of these. I'll do four just for the symmetry of it. Um, and we probably want like 10 of these. Let's make sure impact shielding doesn't need to go anywhere else. It does not. How do I do 10 around beacon in a tidy fashion? Well, more importantly, how do we, uh, how do we lay it out so that the scrap can get where it needs to go. We can do the old swappy chest uh, to recycle the iridium plate. Not that much scrap, it's still hundreds per second. Three of them is... oh no, it's only 85. Never mind. This one in order to get four per second, we're doing 255 scrap. That's eight, not ten. Astute observation. Um, I'm just trying to think, like, because last time I actually did, uh, I think it was either direct insertion or something close to it, to get all the scrap out so that we didn't have to bottleneck on belts. It's not just the rate, either. It's the fact that... Okay, so one of these is only 25 per second. Um, but it comes out 1,500 at a time. Which is... Suffice to say... A bit speedy. Just a... Just a wee tad... Only, yes. If I did some rail down the middle... 
but I make it look cool. Very important question. I wonder if we could even use bulk rail loaders. Oops. Those are unloaders. I don't think so. We could obviously direct insert with a couple of these, but it's not like we could build these around the machines so that these could direct insert into here. Hmm. Oh yeah, I had longer trains last time. That helps. Wish I could have these rail in base game. They look so good. The space rail? Yeah, they kind of do. Very nice. If I have to belt out from these, they're going to be inactive for like an amount of time, right? Let's give it some super speed modules. Oh wow, even with that, it takes a while for this recipe. So when the recipe completes, we've got 1500 scrap. Um, that has to come out. So if we have a belt with a loader, it's going to be... 45 per Okay, it doesn't actually block the next recipe unless... Unless we have, I don't know how much more than 1,500 scrap here. So that might simplify it. Actually, it might be blocked unless all of this is gone. I think I want to filter this for scrap. And everything else just... What have we got? Uh, impact shielding data... Gerda... Iridium... Gerda... Iridium plate... Okay, so we should be able to see exactly how much scrap can be left here before it'll start another recipe. My guess is it pretty much has to get to zero. And yeah, it pretty much does. Okay. But if each of these only produces 25 scrap per second, um, maybe it's fine if they have a belt each coming out of here. I don't want to have to limit this to one cargo wagon full. That's just one recipe is most of a cargo wagon. That would be fine with the real speed, not the cheat speed. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Also, also, where am I going to fit this? Maybe make these a bit further away. Is that actually directly in the middle? That's nice. That's not going to be hard to fit. I can't count on the output from here and here being balanced. 
unless this... Well, maybe I pretty much can. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what are our inputs? Inputs are pretty slow, right? Locomotive. Uh, on this whole side, we're looking at less than 0.1 locomotives per second. 2.12 data cards. Uh, less than 0.1 iridium plate. Less than 0.1 heavy girder. So we don't have to worry about the shape of the input belts, that's for sure. As long as we can physically fit them. Let's do um, fluid inputs like this. Um, and we need a pair of belts on either side. We should be able to fit that with no problems. And we could put this a little closer, I think. It's probably not equal, is it? That's four, that's three. It's gonna bug me. One, two, three, four. So my, my, what I'm wondering is, uh, Kami Kami, thank you for the follow, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Can I simply output like this, let's do it this way. Actually, I kind of want it to look like this. And obviously this is going to be filtered for scrap. Uh, we will need output for the other stuff, I suppose. What's our man what's our rate for everything else that comes out? Oh, we still need to do the swapping or recycling somehow for uh, both iridium plate and iridium girder. Mm, that's a little bit tricky now. Where, how do I want to do that? I could do it on the input side. So basically we have... It, I, I think it'll need to be up here. Something like this. And... I think I'd need inserters to control the amount of stuff in here for Iridium and Gerda. Probably. Where are my inserters? There we go. So we're just going to, like, set filters blacklist. So we only put a little bit of whatever in 
this container. And for the other stuff. Well, I guess we need to leave room for this as well. Come to think of it, if there's four resources in here, that should be fine. We just do it like this. Do some filtered outputs down here. Uh, let's put heavy girder iridium plate on this side, I guess. And locomotive blank. I know where blank is. Locomotive over here. And we're just going to do belts going to... Wait, can a long arm reach across here? Absolutely not. That would be too convenient. Unless I put a rather large container. Which we do have room for. Would it be enough though? Oh, it kind of would. Maybe that would be a bit neater. It's totally unnecessary, though. You need to do an output everything filtered? Output everything filtered. Oh, oh, I need a blacklist on this for the scrap. Uh, and as for the final product... As for the final product, mm, I'm liking this less and less. What about a sushi belt? It's everything's super slow, and we've got four in. Yeah, this is a good excuse. Let's do a sushi belt. Well, I'll probably keep those inserters there, except. Uh, we need to blacklist scrap on the sushi belt. Okay, so we're going to have I guess I will do these two in one block. I think that's probably going to be doable. do our unloader here. Do they both use lubricant? They do not. And why it goes there. Isn't this, isn't the point of this game to be unnecessary? Indeed. Uh, we require... Since the throughput of all four of these things is so slow, I think I could just use these containers. Well, no, we can only do like three train loads of stuff in here. We need four at the very minimum. And I'll probably want to push it all to one container. Let's just do it this way. The usual controlled output input. Oops. Come to think of it, we don't need belts for this. Uh, we can just do filter inserters. And then this can be a little bit smaller. Just double check that again. 
Okay, yeah, it's literally like less, way less than one per second for everything except for blank cards. I think we'll be fine. Okay. We're not going to set filters on this. We're just going to do static filters, just like here. Uh, let's do locomotive. Blank data card. And I want to put the Iridium stuff together. Girders. I kind of want to put girders over here. And this will be Iridium plate. I don't suppose I can... No. Girder. Plate. Uh, blank data cards, and locomotive, locomotive, oh, and I might just not bother to tell LTN about this, and we'll just ask for exactly one train load of each. Uh, what do we want to limit it to? How many stacks? We've got like 256 divided by 4. Uh, let's give it 60 stacks each. Sixty stacks of locomotives. Is that really necessary here? Even though they only stack to five? I'm thinking probably not. Let's just go like 10 stacks for each resource in this chest. So blank, less than 500. Uh, this will stack to five. Loco, less than 50. Heavy girder is also going to be 500. It bothers me that the heavy girder is not under the category where we can literally see a girder. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is just like a recolor of this girder. Heavy girder less than 500. Uh, Iridium plate less than 400. And I think that's it. So then... Set filters blacklist. Test inputs go here. And we should get about 10 stacks, maybe a little bit more, of each of these resources before it stops. Um, and I don't really care if this one doesn't keep up with this one. As long as... Because we're, we're just going to wait till this is empty of any given resources uh, before we request a train. Alright, and this will be lubricant. So we are requesting locomotive... Blank data card, iridium plate, and girder. Going into a mech facility. And out comes scrap, I mean uh, impact shielding data. 
and also scrap and also scrap and also scrap it's mostly scrap it is quite literally mostly scrap evil pla good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well Let's go for 100k lube and exactly one train load of all of these other things. Uh, I don't know how much is a train load of locomotive. Just add two zeros though. 500. Uh, what was next? Blank cards. 50 hundred. Forty hundred iridium plate and girders. Fantastic. All right, that's our input, and then we want to sushi belt this stuff. We've done this before. Trains. Uh. Come to think of it, it doesn't have to be a very good sushi belt. I bet we could get away with just doing it like this. Trains, blanks, iridium plate, and girders. What would this look like? Uh, kind of exactly what I was thinking of. We need to have room to output to the same belt though, so that's not going to work. But you could do it that way as long as you can be sure that the inputs are always going to be there. I mean, even if they weren't, if you cycle them back around and come back to the same container, it's going to sort itself out. But yeah, you could do that. Let's be a little bit fancier. Oops. And any like this. And then they'll have to merge into here. Or I could put that there. And then merge everything in this way. And that should give us a belt with equal uh, equal ratios, but also some slack, unless I'm mistaken, which I am. Um, yeah, because if these are each one quarter, it's not going to work. We need to also recycle 50% of this. Well, I guess I can just do another one of these here, or not. Kind of out of space. Need a quarter of each for the final. I need an eighth of each for the final so that there's room to put stuff back onto the belt. 
Also, I need it to turn a corner so it looks good the way it's going to fit in half a block. Something like this, perhaps? Actually, I could put it here. Is that gonna... No, not quite. Where should I put it? How about, how about this? So then we have another 50%. Uh, the priority doesn't matter on this side, I don't think. Whoops. Alright, is that going to give us gaps the way we want? Yes, yes it is. Alright, could we make it a little prettier somehow? Like, put these next to each other? Kind of. That's not even next to each other. <laughs> kind of like that. Is it possible to move that over a bit? Not really. I guess I can live with this. So then we go all the way around, get rid of these, and back into the big container. Except, of course, uh, at some point we'll need to take our desired output off the belt. I think I would probably like to put that here. And can I also fit this? Probably. Yeah, it's going to be easy actually. I dare say we could let just one train into this spot at any given time. It's not going to be often, comparatively, that we're picking up the uh, impact shielding data. So that's actually going to look pretty tidy. And then we can just... Delivery cannon chest here, filter splitter here, uh, impact shielding data goes to the right. And then that's it. We need lubricant, of course. Oh, that actually... That almost looks deliberate. I like that. Uh, that's not going to be seven tiles, is it? Like, let's just do a three... 
and do it like this. How many tiles is that? One too many. And then... Oh, that's not quite going to work out, is it? Or is it? No, that's actually totally fine. Wait, is that nine tiles? No, it's eight. Alright, it is now working. Let's see what kind of bugs are left. We don't have any input on this side. That would probably help. So basically the final product is going to go on the sushi belt and we're going to filter it off. Here we go. What? No, no, you're supposed to be blacklist scrap. No. Oh no. Oh no. That's not what I wanted. Okay. All right. Uh, can we, can, can we whitelist scrap? into this void chest. The other goes in the box. Schnutzki, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're going, going well. That's That does convey what I intended to say, but I didn't mean to say going well. Okay. And there it is. There's our data cards. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And scrap uh, at mostly balanced? Oh wow, it's actually shockingly imbalanced. Uh, let me just reset this real quick. And I would like to test exactly how imbalanced this thing is. Okay, so we're going to say if anything greater than zero, uh, if everything equals zero. So if I put a signal here, we're going to delete everything. Even should probably delete it even faster than that. All right, so let's allow that to fill up. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. The output on the right side goes to the top box. Uh, yes, that that is intentional. Oh, we're not filtering out our final product or scrap from here. Uh, that's something I didn't realize. I don't have a particularly convenient place to merge it in. I guess I could... Uh... Okay, scrap is not supposed to be here at all, period. Now, let me just do this. That's easier. But we're going to end up with finished product in here, aren't we?
You know what? I think I see a pretty easy, slightly sketchy way to deal with it. Marathi, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Satisfactory. Nice. I played that. It's rather chill. So what if we did this and just... I was going to put it here, but this is better, I think. Just put it straight back onto that belt there. It's relatively neat, surprisingly enough. I even managed to put the white area beacon lined up with the substation pylons. Hey, hey, I bring... what is that emote? Eyeballs? And pizza? Fantastic. Marathi raid, indeed. Uh, Uli witness? Marathi? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, I didn't mean to let this fill up. Whoops. Let's void a bunch of it. In fact, let's void all of it, and then... Uh, I want to stop... Actually... If I read from here... And we say... Anything greater than zero... No, that's too much of a pain. I'll just do this manually for now. Alright, let the scrap in. Allow it to, say, half fill up. And then I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to see how balanced it is. Actually, I imagine it's going to be very balanced, because this was just saturated and waiting to output. Um, I should... Probably let it completely empty from the machines. Before I wait to see... Oh, this one's empty. Okay, this one's empty. Cool, cool, cool. And this is getting kind of full. Um, I definitely want one more recipe from the ones in the middle. Before we decide how balanced it is. Happy New Year, you too. I think the game client was dying after about 30 hours of running, unfortunate. Agamor, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Okay, so once this 1500 drains into here... Actually, because we get such large quantities, and it's, I think, a multiple of... It's not a multiple of 45. It is going to be slightly imbalanced. But is it enough for me to care? I could just set the provide stack threshold. No, I think even if I set the provide stack threshold a little bit higher, it'll still... It, it could accumulate an imbalance, right? And we'll end up with a train stuck waiting here. I could use belts here and here to rebalance it, or just inserters if absolutely necessary. Oh. Oh, we've caught up. Okay. Let's stop it there. And we've got... No, I didn't want to void it anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that was happening at equal speed. Nope, I messed it up, because that... Uh, I removed the wires at the wrong speed there. I should just put these on separate... Um, separate wires. Let's just put some symbols that make sense here. Remove. 
That's so hard to see. Okay, crisscross and input. And that can be anything greater than zero. Okay, remove it all. And we'll let this empty. And then we'll let it run for a bit. Uh, and then stop deleting stuff. And then I'll stop the belts going in and we'll see how much we've got. Is it just me or are trains on belts kind of weird? What could possibly be weird about locomotives on belts? Nothing. Nothing could possibly be strange about this. Just, just embrace the chaos. It's fine. Boggles, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They will be imbalanced for a bit since they won't all start at the same time, but overall it should be fairly balanced. It should be fairly balanced. But so were the delivery cannon chests, and that led to problems eventually. It does take quite a while to get a train load from this... Uh, from this build. Been a hot minute since I did any logic wiring. Marathi, welcome, welcome to Logic Wiring Central. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's stop voiding and let that run for just a little while. Um, a recipe or two, and then stop the belts from going in. I think a cargo wagon filled with locos is more weird. I guess so. Having locos on belts is good training for avoiding them. Good training. Is that a pun? Happy next 365 days. Thank you, Boggles. Okay. One more recipe? Nah, I think we're good. Let's stop the belts there. And we get 5.4k versus 5k. That's actually really bad. I think I'd better add some some rebalancing magic here, which unfortunately I'm pretty sure means a combinator, or, and hear me out, I could simply uh, put stuff in here until there's a hundred stacks. So if either of these doesn't have enough for uh, for a locomotive, uh, sorry, for a cargo wagon, we'll keep putting the scrap in. I imagine a train could come in and these inserters could be swinging wildly, but I'm pretty sure the bulk rail loader can put stuff into the train faster than uh, the inserter can swing. Unlike where we've used belts to do this before. So that should be fine. A 12-12 balancer? Oh god, where am I going to fit that? Glacier Wolf? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So that is our build for... Locomotive Smashing. And we're going to go high priority pickup, long trains only, ride stack threshold 100. Wouldn't 5k be 100 stacks, not 500? Uh, yeah, you're right. 50, 100, 5,000. It's so easy to math with 100 stacks. All right, then. Impact shielding data provider. Provide stack threshold 100. 
long trains only. And let's do this build on the opposite side. Whoops. Don't forget signals. What the? That's already got some. Actually, how far does this train reach? Oh, we can signal both of these. I think I'll just let the uh, data card train block the scrap train because we're picking up the scrap like 600,000 times more often than the impact shielding data. And the impact shielding data is what we're actually after. 12x12, 12 12, just to use a box with 12 loaders in and out. Um, yeah, it, it only works, it only balances if it's saturated with that. Hashtag bad ideas, indeed. Okay, took the bait. Uh, let's go... Oh, did I... Yeah, I already set this up, actually. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, I think I want to let that keep running. Just because, look at it, it's so pretty. Oh, it's not going to be able to keep running. Just the scrap. It's fine. Uh, let's do another drop-off here. And we're looking for one, two, three solid inputs. I could. Uh, we need a scrap output for this one. I could do it like here, or I could borrow this one. No, I, I think that's probably a bad idea, all things considered. We can put this nice and close to the train stops. We'll have a usual... Which data is this again? It is pressure containment data. I'll just double check. We've only got one other solid output. Fantastic. You only need three machines, remember? Oh yeah. Wait, if I do only have three or four machines, uh, how fast? That's still two belts of scrap coming out. I'll do four for the symmetry of it, but, uh... But it's gonna bottleneck on scrap output unless... Unless? I think we'll need to do filtered outputs. The only way to have a long filter is to have a superior long filter, which is a little overkill for this to say the least. Pressure, containment, data. Is gonna go here. You didn't set the requester train stop name? Oh, so this. Uh, no, I did. All of the scrap comes out of this one. And I also did set the requests. So, there. Uh, we need heavy girders, storage tank, and blank cards. All of which are pretty slow. Blank card is by far the quickest. No worries. I'll just do a train load and a half for each of these. I know that's 
a little lazy, but it's it'll work. Um, oh, they're all the same stack size. Cool, cool, cool. So we're looking for 7,500. Storage tanks. And what was the fluid? Uh, it was cosmic water. Considering our net rate is 22 per second, if that, um, and they take in 1k or so before they actually work. I'm sure... I'm sure one huge container is still going to be fine. Will your scrap block keep up with this? Uh, probably not. I'll just have to make more scrap blocks. I actually really like this. It's very nice. Okay. They'd get stuck on the belt if I put that there, right? I don't think it would look any better anyway. Um, so I need a scrap output up here. And we don't need any thermo fluid output. And we can just do... How fast are they individually? 30 per second scrap, let's call it. Hey hey, happy new year, Bushaza. Uh, Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You know what? It's not like we need another station up here. Let me put this nice and close. And that one's already fine. So what if... Oh, that doesn't even line up. What if we do the same thing between these two? Can't actually do that. Give to me the very difficult to see, but very cool inserter. And it is scrap that, that we're dealing with still. I know it's slow usage of Iridium, but will we need to increase ore production? Since we have added a lot more consumers of the ore. Oh, I'm sure. But ultimately it bottlenecks on how much research I actually do. So I want to give them each their own belt for this. And there's obviously plenty of room to do that. Except we need one, two input belts. Uh, which might look a little bit like this. That's not quite right. Where do I want to do this? Let me do the input belts first. And all of the inputs are super slow. I, I wonder, I guess it'd be more UPS friendly in the end to just have superior long inserters, for example, because they swing faster. Computer doesn't have to think about them for as long. I don't think it's going to add up that much. Maybe it would. That'd be quite the task to go around upgrading all of those, though. I guess I could just use an upgrade planner. 
Um, but that could actually just go there. Which means... You can output this way. You could output this way. You could have some undergrounds like this or something. And... How about this? Doesn't look the same. Yeah, I think I like that better. That's not too bad. Uh, and obviously we need to filter those for scrap. And filter this output we've already done. Uh, we do need the input and output to be connected for the thermal fluid. So we could just do it like this. Oh. Uh, not in this instance. Um, I need the input on this side also. There we go. Alright, let's do the belt input. Uh, we need... One, two, three things. One, two, three things. Uh, the difference in... How much of each we need is kind of negligible, but I think I'll do blank cards on their own belt. Actually, just do it like this. Uh, what were the other two? Heavy girder and storage tank. Heavy girder. Storage tank. This was quite the rabbit hole, these two builds. And honestly, it consumes so slowly. We could probably just let it get empty. Before we summon another train. And that takes care of any balance issues. It's also very fast compared to the other builds. That is once again high priority scrap pickup. Um, that should be fine. Don't really even need that many signals. I think that should work. Let's test it. With the usual set filters blacklist. And shift right click, shift left. Uh, and we need cosmic water. But we also need room to output cosmic water. So it's very important that we don't uh, actually fill this. Which we normally don't anyway with our train drop offs. Oh, well, that's a good fit. That's, uh, that's a very nice fit. Aww. And 
flank suit. I mean, I guess we don't really need the fluid going on both sides, but... No, actually, we kind of do, because... Fluid output... Has to go all the way up here. Maybe I should have another big container down here. <laughs> what? I know it's slow usage of Iridium... Ah, yes, yes, yes. Alright. Oh, that actually has shockingly little trouble um, with the pipes. Yeah, that is just no problem whatsoever. Oh, I guess it's because it takes the input at about the same time, because they're all more or less in sync. Or maybe it doesn't even need to do that anyway. But yeah, we got these two frantically trying to rebalance. Once we've got 5k on each side, they'll stop. Which is pretty soon. Okay. Don't think we need any more test inputs. Oh. We do want to limit this to one train load plus... Uh, Plus delivery cannon chest. Extra underground pipes at the middle and top. This is true. Yeah, that seems to be fine. Let's tidy it up a bit. Whoops. This one might end up looking a bit weirder. Shadows look like gaps. Let's make sure there's no missing scaffold behind these. I kind of want that to be squared off. And I think that's pretty much our build. Looks pretty decent to me. Thank you, thank you. Pressure. Pressure containment data. I don't think I've done the train input on the left. Uh, I've done the LTN settings. 1.5 train loads each, that's probably fine. And station name is the only thing remaining. So we are requesting blank data cards. Uh, what is that? Storage tanks and girders. And it goes into thermodynamics facility, I believe. And out comes pressure containment data. Fantastic. Let's blueprint this thing and be done with material too.
pressure containment and impact shielding. Let's just say pressure plus impact. And I think we already got rid of the cheat inputs. These two builds took significantly more thought than usual. And that's going to go there. And then time to build. Time to build stuff. Let's put it here, I think. Uh, right about there. Grab our train. Park it over here. Wait for inactivity. And then do the same thing with construction train, except we need... Uh, we still need a bunch of mechanical facilities. I don't... I won't bother changing the number. And then... Thermo... Dynamics facility, was it? And you can go down here and wait for an activity as well. Do you produce tanks and locomotives enough? Uh, yes. I'm gonna add more... I'm gonna keep making locomotives in the mole as well until we've got 150 stacks. Uh, so 750. Make it Eight. Make it like 770, just so we have a few extra. Actually, no, it'll automatically overshoot its target a little bit. So that's fine. And that'll automatically get offered to the rail network once we've got uh, 1.5 train loads. Pressure, data, and impact shielding data. Which, if you look closely from this view, you can see very clearly. It's literally a train slamming into a wall. Or a locomotive. And we've already got our lubricant here. And our cosmic water. before we even finish building. Obviously I could make a dedicated build for those other prerequisites, but I don't think we're going to need to. The consumption rate is very slow. We'll probably need to return with more belt. Actually, you've got belt remaining. Huh, it's done. It is done. Or at least it is once my handcraft gets finished. Would have been neat if it was engineer instead of a wall? <laughs> oh no. Don't forget modules in the build to the left, indeed. Or do you mean over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got quite a few speed modules. Let's see what's happening over here. Uh, as expected... Oh, actually, we don't have blanks yet. I was going to say, as expected, we've got um, everything but locomotives and uh, storage tanks at this moment point. Actually, we might already have enough storage tanks. 
We have 7.4k storage tanks. 148 stacks? Why are we so close and yet so far away? There's no more iron beam. Uh, I don't think I properly automated iron beam here. Since iron beam is going into science consistently, even if not in high volumes, I think I should probably have it brought up through the space elevator. What about locomotives? We're not... Uh, we're missing steel plate of all things. That's... unexpected. Oh, this doesn't have... the right setting. Is that why? No... No, I don't think so. I mean, there's still steel ingots here, but... But there should be more coming from the ground. Steel ingots are looking a little sad. There's not enough molten iron. That's terrifying. Uh, are we actually short on iron? I don't think so. We might be? Did I make this too fast for the belts? Uh, yes. No, no I didn't. 43.2 iron ore per second. Although it is slowing it down slightly, trying to keep it balanced. I remember this. When I, when I spent a lot of time trying to... Oh, here... Now it's balanced. It just saturated all of a sudden. Because this got saturated. Okay, there's no shortage of this. Uh... But yeah, I had to add a sort of latch behavior so that... There'd be a fuzzy comparison, kind of, to check if these are greater than or less than the other. Uh, it is possible that I'm not producing enough enriched iron, except the fact that this is saturated suggests that's not the case. Is it pyroflux? No? I think we're literally just needing more iron blocks. We've only got, I think, two uh, that make the iron ingots. There's a couple of old um, iron plate blocks, but iron plate can't give us steel ingots. So, what's our rate here? Oh, are we actually just bottlenecked? No, we are bottlenecked on the iron... The molten iron itself. Yeah, I think we just need more of these. Let's go do that, but before I do, I don't want to forget something that I have forgotten. Iron beams. I want those to go to space. I think we've only got the one build that makes iron beams. Beam! There we go. Yeah, we... Oh, we got two, actually. Am I miss... Oh, that's steel beams over there. With the rail. Uh, yeah, so we do just have the one build for iron beams, which makes it nice and easy to do a train running it. I'm thinking I should do K2 before I try SE. Uh, yeah. I would 
probably recommend it. I mean, you could probably... You could figure it out either way, but that might be a smoother transition. We've almost got Zone Discovery 65. What was I looking for? Trains. Um, I think we have some charged. Yeah, we do. Let's make a train here. Hold up. It needs to be the one with the vanilla schedule. There it is. And I'll borrow some of these. Okay. Iron beam. Beam. Iron beam is the bright one, I believe. Uh, wait for full cargo, not empty cargo. And I'll just double check. It is indeed. Have I updated that? We've got tier 3 prog modules in any case. Okay, so you're gonna get iron beams, go up the elevator, go to depot, wait until... Wait until... Peridome. Squirrel. Uh, radius is big. Distance is far, lots of biters, copper, we've already got copper. Solar is 100%, so it's probably not close to the exit. I'll probably ignore that. I also need to get some... Where are they? Oh, here we go. Some solar panels and stuff in this guy. Some additional electric engines. Fantastic. QQ, does the delivery cannon chest have a special behavior with bulk rail loaders? I notice it in your outputs. Uh, indeed it does. It fits. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The special property that um, delivery cannon chests have is that they're 3x3 three three containers. So when we have a bulk rail loader or unloader, um, if we put a chest next to them, like here, depending on if it's a loader or unloader, it'll either take from the chest with invisible inserters or put stuff into the chest. So when I put delivery cannon chests between them, uh, it's the one way to have a single container that both of them and access. So you can see the, the... these are delivery cannon chests that we actually are using as delivery cannon chests. Um, and you can see that the there's nothing else here that's putting stuff into these containers um, other than we're pushing from the back to the front. Oh! Wait. I haven't updated these with the... with the limiters here. But is that actually an issue? We've got a provide stack threshold of 160, so I don't think so. Uh, the back one shouldn't be limited. There we go. Oh, neat. Didn't know about the hidden inserters, indeed. Actually, no, The let's make both of them limited. And we don't actually need these belts here. If we're going to have... Well, it's a bit late for some of these. Uh, we can have long trains or short trains pick up from here as long as we limit them to 100 stacks. Oh, and I also set it up so the vanilla trains could take from here. Provide stack threshold 100, but don't read from the delivery cannon chest. That's fine. That should not be connected there. Try 
train limit greater than 5k. This should be. Now we have to change all of these. Uh, I guess that's fine actually. You know what? Don't e don't even bother with the train limit. What's the worst that could happen? Does it generally balance? I have to use a little balancer between the output containers. Yeah, uh, most of the time the way I'm keeping it balanced is only allowing one cargo wagon of stuff to accumulate on each side. That way I can have a short train or a long train pick this up and it'll sort itself out. Um, but when stuff is really high throughput, that doesn't really work that well. Okay, I need... I'm going to put iron beams here. Iron beam. And iron beam. I'm pretty sure that's the first we've done iron beams up here. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Green wire isn't connected. Oh, true. Fantastic. Okay. So... We're going to pick up, we're going to go up the elevator, we're going to go up to the depot, and once we're able, we're going to drop off beams. And I'm just going to skip the depot on the ground side. We can always have a vanilla train come here. Manually stopped. Oh, yeah. Oh, off you go. Actually, take me with you. And then we can just request iron beams directly at the mall. Fantastic. Up we go. Into a depot stop. Wait and see if the train limit is uh, greater than one, greater than zero over here. As soon as we get our refuel, that is. Destination full? Oh, I didn't do that one change where I deliberately left something in place here so that it wouldn't work until we're ready. And that is to change this from anything to everything. To set the train limit. So basically, if this is... if there's anything left in here, uh, this train stop will be disabled, or set to train limit zero. Uh, and then we're pushing it into the LTN system. Oh. It's a pity these have to snap like this, otherwise I could put a delivery cannon chest between all of these. Or if I could make a 3x4 chest, I guess. That'd be kind of neat. Oh, we're taking more beams up. That makes sense. Doesn't scare me every single time I get out of a speeding train doing a corner. It's totally fine. What's next, then? 
Uh, I find myself going to the mall for some reason and then wondering why that is. Oh yeah, I was going to do more iron downstairs. Can I do that all remotely? I was going to go over here and change the power bolts. Can I do that remotely? I think so. We don't have any wire connections that depend on the old power poles. I don't think... This one does. Uh, I can fix that. Oh. Um. Okay. Didn't... Didn't see that one. No, don't take it back to the mall. Ah, oh. construction train. Lend a hand. Pretty please. And I'm just gonna link the wires like this. Alright, down with the old power poles, also over here, in with the new, and copy paste, down here. Oh, that's some range. All right, let's park our train here next. It's like herding kittens sometimes with those bots. Yeah. Doop a doop. Marquardt. It is a stone planet. A uh, kind of far out solar wise very big uh, it's got a bunch of biters which are gonna add up a lot on a planet that big it is super close 30,000 delta v from Hagen in the Basilia system over here that's not that far from the interstellar map I guess I'm sure we'll find better eventually. In the near term, if we can clear the biters, this might be a really, really, really good source of stone. I think I already had a source of stone marked. Tigris. In the off forest system, it's got no biters. And it has water. And it's super close to the interstellar map, not exactly. Uh, that's not so close. But the planet size is smaller. I don't know. I think if we're waiting for spaceships, probably the nearer, bigger planet might be better. Um, alright, did we get this build mostly done? Actually, yes. One more trip. Ooh, I should go upgrade those inserters. Actually, I can just run an upgrade planner over them. And we can request... Let's do another combinator up here. Superior inserters. Can I just find them down here? There we go. Should already be on the way, or at least some of them. What are you doing? Something is wrong here. Oh, 
Oh. Why are you full of uranium fuel cells? How long has this been the case? No! Ugh, why are you like this? Oh, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Jesus Christ, where's it gone? And we're dropping off uranium fuel cells here. Uh, go back to the depot. Why are you like this? We don't have any other small trains with stuff stuck in them. I hope. Doesn't look like it. Did we, like, oversupply this? Not even close. Hmm. I am thoroughly confused. Maybe when it delivered steel over here, it got given... No? LTN is short trains only, so these two inserters. And if we detect steel, whether positive or negative, from the log logistic train stop output, we don't put in uranium fuel cells. Where else could it have got them from? I wonder. And where did they go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Uranium fuel cells. Well, we've got plenty where they need to be for the moment. Uh, before I get distracted again, let's get our construction train to actually finish this build. And add tag. Iron ingot. And check if this is going to be able to keep up. Maybe messed up during power brownout? I don't think the logistic train stop output actually needs power. Also, that whole thing was set up after the power brownouts. Again, I see a massive flicker up this way with production. I'm not sure what that is. But no, it's been like three hours since we had trouble. Alright, let's check our rate here. Uh, 107.14 enriched iron per second is still way more than enough. We could do one more block of iron ingot, and I think I will. What are we bonking? Happy New Year, Emo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Didn't read the other messages. Were both of those inserters hooked up to the wire? Inserters hooked up to wire. Oh, this one looks a little different from what we normally see. So basically we've got green wire just going straight to logistic train stop as usual. Um, this is a whitelist to take steel from the cargo wagon no matter what. This is a whitelist to put uranium fuel cells in, and it's got a, uh, an enable-disable condition where if the logistic train stop output says steel, whether it's positive or negative, um, that's not going to swing. The second uh, stack filter inserter is pointed at the second cargo wagon, and we're not sending any long... Uh, long 
LTN trains to this station. So if there's a second cargo wagon, we know this is a vanilla train schedule. So we don't actually need this wire to do the same settings there. That's why. Vario, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What? Okay. Um, did we not build this? Where's our construction train? Oh, I was waiting for this to stop swinging and recharging. There we go. Oh, and we already upgraded the inserters. Nice. That looks a lot better against a lighter background. Alright, so this is also going to be iron ingot. It's going to take a couple of trips to finish this build. We'll have it come back after a resupply. And it should all get done automatically. And we'll still be able to keep up with just a half block of enriched iron. That should mean that we keep up with our steel, and I can't remember what was asking for steel now. We're only a little bit short here. If I could reshape this so that the steel ingots turn into plate both here and here... And we're not so dependent on throughput. There isn't really room, though. I guess I could put, like, an output here that goes over here. It's not going to look that... Actually, that's not that bad. If I change it so that instead of long arms... Uh, we have like an output belt that comes back this way. Then all of this could turn into plate. Why reshape when you can expand? Well, just throw more material at it. Well, we've got actually quite a large amount of steel just sitting here. I kind of like that though. I I've been doing that in a few places. Um, whereby, even if we run out of resources, if I really need some, I can just go and get some, because there'll always be uh, some amount of rocket control units sitting here, for example, even if the inputs have stopped. Alright, we've got Crystallis to check out. It is another cryonite planet, probably don't care. It is huge, though. If we ever need lots more cryonite, We'll probably just put more core mining drills on the planet that we're already on, actually. That's probably... Yeah, probably paying the electricity for that, even with the diminishing returns, is less investment than the logistics it takes to go to a whole other planet. We also have to clear biters. That's going to take a very long time. Look at those trains go. Speaking of trains, I thought I saw a few lying around. Um, I think it's all vanilla trains waiting for pickup of ingots. Because we've massively increased the demand temporarily for our builds in space. We are going to bottleneck on um, materials. What, what, what's the problem here? Oh. I don't suppose there's a construction in range? There is. Beautiful. So while this vanilla train is waiting for more iron beams, this one was stopped. Because that was the, the one rail sector. Fantastic. 
what's your deal? Picking up the dregs of iron from here. Fantastic. Okay. So we have... A problem. Uh, I forgot to connect that wire and now we've got a... An extra train or two of cosmic water over here. I'm just going to go add a second huge storage tank. Temporarily. Oh no, indeed. Uh, I was going to say we have Material 2 Science finished, even if it's uh, bottlenecking on materials. We've got Energy Science 2 finished. We just have to finish Astro 3, and that's it. We'll have spaceships. And the next two or three researches for spaceships that'll make them a bit more formidable. Alright, how about... Uh, I don't have any scaffolding. That reminds me, I wanted to put at least some scaffolding in the construction train, because often I need just a little bit somewhere. Alright, could you please park over here and wait for me? And we'll put some scaffolding over here. Actually, if I put it there, I can't fit a pump so that I can control this. And then, once we've got those trains to go away, we'll turn the pump around. Whoop, careful. Hey, we got our... We got our tanks. Now we're just waiting on blank data cards, which, uh... Probably we're waiting on, like, six million red circuits, I'm gonna guess. Yes. That is all red circuits. Are we materially bottlenecked, or do we just need... Oh, wow. I think it's time for beacons for our red circuit build, which we've only got one of. I, I think that might be a good idea. Let me just grab... Oh, I should also increase the prop modules in here. Uh, I'm just trying to grab a remade beacon with the right number of... Oh, I have two builds for red circuits that don't have beacons. Um, I'm just looking for a beacon. This has tier 1 prods still? Oh, no. Oh no. Uh, I did do a new green circuit build, actually. This one is incredibly fast. So why aren't trains taking from there? I'm just gonna disable this one. Tifa Cat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Professional Dave, good to see you again. Give you a shout out. They are playing RimWorld. How was it? How many people were eaten? 
Uh, and what was I about to do? Oh yeah, I was being lazy looking around for a wide area beacon that I can copy paste that already has the right number of speed modules, but I wasn't finding one. God damn it. God damn, how are they all different from what I usually use? Why is this happening? Okay, got one. Alright, red circuits. Here you go. And then we need construction train to visit. First of all here, and then up here. That should probably be enough. Are uh, the train unloaders part of SE or K2? Nope, the mod is called Bulk Rail Loader. You have green circuits with 110 stack threshold, not 100. Yeah, I know. Um, it also reads from this container here. Uh, and I th think... I was just trying to make sure... I mean, I could read from here and say 100, I guess. Uh, that makes just as much sense. No, because the throughput is so high, I wanted to make sure that it can, like, look into the future a little bit. Uh, look into this container. So, the extra 10 stacks is just to make sure there's no weirdness with how long it takes the green circuits to get... What is... What... What? What? What is this? Express underneathy? No, bad. I wonder how that got there. I mean, we still had two belts going to this side out of four belts total, so not that big of a deal, but still. Alright, I think we just sped up our red circuit production a little bit. We're still very positive on copper cable here. The ratio is totally out of whack, actually. Um, wait. Oh, yeah, that's consuming. 90 green circuits per second. 60 advanced circuits come out. Cool, cool, cool. This can do 184 green circuits per second. Which can barely feed these two, but realistically, that should probably be fine for now. Okay. What are we doing next? So material... Uh, material 2 should be complete in theory. Broad catalog doesn't have anything yet. Have we got any outputs? We need glass? Have I not brought glass up? Surely I have glass. Here it is. There's plenty of glass here. Why you no know, bring glass? Glass 15,000. Oh, stack size. No, I, I doubled it. No, it's stack size 200. I forgot this again. So I should actually be asking for like 30,000 if I want a train load and a half. But we're only consuming 8.1 per second, so just barely more than one train load. Should be fine, like 22k. Uh, we have discovered a moon called Penium. That rings a bell. I think we had one of those last time. It is coal. Waterless. Kind of small. I mean, it's kind of big for a moon. It's like moderate for a moon, I guess, actually. Hardly any biters. Distance is a bit far. Probably ignore that. Unless we don't have many options for coal. But we've got... 
No, we've got practically infinite coal on Hagen. Because of uh, turning oil into coal. We're not going to need this for a long... We're not going to need a coal planet for a long time. Alright, we have corrosive data. We still need 600 million blank data cards. The reason that stopped is because red circuits were too slow. That'll sort itself out. We should have rigidity data. Uh, blank cards and locomotives is what we need here. I should have locomotives sorted out in the mall. And this is blank cards as well. Alright, locomotives. Why are you... Why do we have eight? Are we really just still playing catch up with other resources? The lack of steel means we've got three slots here not being used for anything. I think that's why. Oh, this is going to be... What the heck did I just press? Upgrade planner shows me the robo network, actually. That's where we have this slanted square here. Okay. Uh, inserters. Make them super inserters. Let's go. I haven't actually automated those here yet. Let's deliver some. Need to flip pump? Oh, back here? Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you. That was almost... Well, we only asked for 100k here. It would have had to go down to 40k. That was close, actually. The Hisag. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's power in space? It's... I was going to say pretty good, but it keeps spiking like crazy. It's kind of strange. I guess we could just go ahead and expand up here. Where are we going to fit the next Robocort? About... Well, I, I have to temporarily put one here, regardless. Let's just put it there for now. Cool, cool, cool. What's next? Uh, I was coming to upgrade these inserters. That is done. They are practically invisible. That bothers me. Let's get some space platform scaffolding and remodel this place. The mall should look nice, or relatively nice. Obviously, it's going to be a bit of a mess. I, I think I already consumed all the plating. There should be some in here, actually. Give me all of that. And apparently we're making more now. Or not. Oh, it's nice to be able to move normally. Over this, I'm looking forward. I don't think we can upgrade plan scaffold. Yeah, I think I already checked this before. Can't do an upgrade planner for scaffolding into the nicer stuff. Can I just, like... Oh, I can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's just plan... all of this. Wait, where am I going?
This will do. How about a bigger brush? All of it, please. I think I went over there. Alright, that'll get done. Name in base? Uh, sure. Down here? Er, triple one? I guess. Can I squeeze that in without the rocks? Not really. How about over here? Don't you have the next tier panels or too expensive for now? Too expensive for now. And I really want to get spaceships to get the infinite supply of purple stuff that we need to spam those. Oh, this is already starting to look so much nicer. Oh, and the, the feel of just being able to run at a decent speed. Ah, uh, that's better. Lukey Dookie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, did we finish this? I mean, yeah, we did. I was, uh, I was trying to check that locomotives would find their way back over here, but the autocrafter hasn't been trying to make them for a while because we've been, because we're out of steel, basically. Um, what if just once I drop the provide stack threshold here? I believe that's going to the mall. I need to update the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I need to update the station name. And yeah, I was expecting it to not quite fill up. Alright, what about our iron throughput downstairs? That's looking pretty good. We've tripled it. Which should mean that we're actually making steel. Fantastic. There's more iron on the way. Oh, that's coke actually. How much are we asking for molten iron? I think we should go for a larger number here. Uh, what about our iron? I think I set it so that, yeah, we need like... We need this to be... To have 100k left after the train takes it. That's how high I set the stack threshold for this stuff, so that iron would be available in this block as well. So it looks like we're going to saturate iron ingots first. Well, we're not going to saturate them before we get any steel, but steel will be faster after we saturate iron, basically. That's fine. How much power is this? 51 kilowatts... Times a lot. 240. That is 12 megawatts. It's actually not that much in the grand scheme of things. Tiny Goliath, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, we got steel, Lamau. Let's do something here. And then... We already have this. I think we do. No... Uh, 
but we'll get there soon. Okay. That honest that really does look a lot nicer than the nasty scaffolding. I almost want to put it everywhere, but it really is hard to justify. Uh, plating? There we go. One scaffold plus one heavy girder plus four steel plate. Happy New Year, Vexa Navy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Zone 69, indeed. Zone 69 is Tetra Cat. Which is Beryl. It's in the Calamity system, which I think is really close. What's this? This, this system is called Calidus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think Calamity is close. Could be wrong. Uh, Calamity's kind of far away, actually. Tetra Cat is way over here. I don't think that's really a candidate for early-ish or later on when we've got the anomaly. When we've got the anomaly, we want planets that are super close to the interstellar map and really big. Someone's been playing some EVE online. Indeed. Mole would clean up good if you moved the solar panels to the new solar area. Yeah, probably. Oh, uh, and I wanted to... Put this here. There we go. Fantastic. More... More scaffolding. And we could probably go further off to the side as well. But I don't think I will. Oh, how's our power looking now? Really good, actually. I'm pretty sure. Uh, flamethrowers are dangerous. I haven't seen any one of the... Uh, I haven't seen one of those big spikes lately. Dune, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Or the rest of it? And what should I be working on next? Let's see. Astro 3... Uh, I haven't actually done... Oh yeah, here it is. I've done the... Catalogs, actually. Catalog 1. Catalog 2. Catalog 3. And... Catalog 4. Beautiful. Now what are we missing? Uh, we're missing UV data. And I'm sure once we've got all those we'll have astrometric. We're missing gravity lensing and wave, microwave data. Uh, radio wave. I haven't done dark matter or negative pressure. And this is for tier 4. We don't need that just yet. So... We're short some materials, but I'm pretty sure all of this works, um, in theory. Oh, I haven't switched this on yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're just short materials, except that I need to do dark matter data and negative pressure data. Got the first energy science via trains going, very nice, good milestone. I'm going to pause this just because I don't want to miss the notification. And let's get working on those last two builds, which I'll probably put in the one block. 
probably. All right, we need some scaffolding. We need to know what we're building. Uh, let's see. I think both of these... Dark matter data, negative pressure data. Are done in the same place, the same machine. Laser facility? And... Probably not laser facility, actually. Gravimetrics facility. I don't think they're the same size. They are not. Alright. Negative pressure data. I'm pretty sure that goes into a few things. So we want to make sure it's nice and fast. It goes into dark energy data as well, and it, we only get dark energy data 75% of the time out of it. 60% uh, of the time it can combine with grav lensing to make dark matter data. And... Uh, time space anomaly data combines them even more. So without calculating the entire playthrough for rate calculation, uh, for ratios, we definitely know we need a relatively large amount of negative pressure data. Got the f uh, are you using LTN and LTN Manager? I couldn't get LTN Manager to work tonight. Yeah, no, I was going to use LTN Manager this playthrough, but... It caused crashes, um, and I never tried to fix it after that. What are we making here? Uh, I believe it was dark matter data. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I'll just be absolutely sure, because I don't want to make the whole build and find out I didn't need to. Cool, cool, cool. I have LTN Manager working with SE personally, indeed. I don't think it's SE, well, for me, I think it's some other mod or mods. That's the issue. Alright, can we rotate these thusly? And not have any problems. Seems good. And we've got two in, two out. Should be pretty easy. Inputs are very slow. Outputs are very slow. This is going to be a very, very straightforward build. Whoops. Um, what about this one? Oh. I didn't check with beacon. Negative 70% power consumption. It's still really slow. Okay. Okay, if we have speed modules in this... And I don't know how many of these we're going to want. Let's look at how many cards we actually get. Only 3.6 per second for this half block. Maybe I should try fitting 50% more laser facilities in here, like we've done with... Uh, the big telescopes. The telescopes are bigger though, right? Radio telescope. 
Yada yada. I don't think I have room to double it though. It glitches for me, but I figured out how to reactivate LTN Manager. Good luck. Tiarchus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how fast would this be? Only 1.6 per second. I think we probably need to go all out with this one. And we're looking at two solids in, three solids out. So we'll just do the usual split belt. Um, how many junk outputs do we have? Junk data card, junk data card, broken data card. Um, can I even fit this the way I want? Hmm. Maybe I should do them in their own blocks, since they're so slow. They're not that slow compared to some other things, but we know we need lots of negative pressure data. Pretty sure we can't really fit this. Actually, it should be on this side. If we're going to do it that way. And... That should be plenty. Take care, Dune. Thanks for stopping by. Yep, thanks for the raid. Cheers. Have a good one. We can do our usual input for fluid. Oops. And output's going to be about the same. We don't even have to tiptoe around the beacon with these builds. Alright, so this will be output. What's our rate for the individual machines? Super slow. Just a single fast inserter should be fine. We'll need some long arms. Oh, uh, this one needs to be different. That seems fine. And this will be the same on this side. Okay. Oh yeah, also I'm playing a significantly older version. Um, so even if I did get LTN Manager working, it wouldn't necessarily be any help for you, I think. Am I going to put these two in the same block, and ha if so, how am I going to have uh, one, two, three, four, Four outputs. Left side has two inputs and no output. Oh. Well, that's a bit silly. Okay. I'm leaning towards just having one block for each of these, I think. Especially because I'm positive we're going to need lots of negative pressure data 
compared to other builds. Output fluid goes on the output side, just to be consistent. So we've got, yeah, two outputs now. That's going to be much cleaner. I think we still only need one input station. Yeah, that's pretty damn slow. Okay. We could literally just push everything to here. Only ask for a train load and a half of each solid. Or even less than that. And then... Use a splitter. Whoops. Uh, what was I doing? Aeroframe scaffold and swirly thing. Astrometric data. So if I... I don't think we need more than one belt to push it over this way. And we could do... A nice, fast unload of fluid, even though we don't need it. Set filters blacklist. That's our test input, uh, except... I do need a belt here. We've got 320 stacks here, so if we're only requesting up to 300 at the most, um, that shouldn't cause any issues, and we can just barely do an underground belt through there. We can then put... Now, input fluid like, like so. Let's copy that over there. And this goes here. And, uh, I think we'll need some more undergrounds over this way. I don't remember seeing these two items together on belts. I wonder if they changed it. Hobbit Exile, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is lacking undergrounds, probably because they weren't in my inventory when I dragged it through here. And uh, we need our test input of 
very cold thermo fluid. Does this actually... yeah, it does. a bit difficult to see with these machines, but it looks like all the ones on the right are working, and all the ones on the left. Cool, cool, cool. So then we just need to filter the belts and do an output for 25 degree thermofluid. It is 25, yes. How do I want to connect the 25 thermo? Well, over here it seems pretty obvious. 14 tiles. And on this side, maybe... Uh, I was going to say maybe going up here would be a bit tidier. I should just connect it to here. That doesn't look so bad. Uh, but then this has to find its way over here as well. Which I could do up here. That might be a little less obtrusive. That's actually pretty neat. And then... And then, and then, and then... This one's junk data card. Plus thermo fluid. Uh, and this one is negative pressure data only. We'll do a three by three container. And I need some splitters or filters or something. Just looking for the neatest way to do it. It's not like it's a difficult problem to solve. Okay. Maybe like this. Negative pressure data. Down here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the amount coming out is never gonna... It's never gonna matter which side of the belt we use or anything. Uh, and junk data card comes over here. And then something similar over this way, I think. Except except what? How do I want to put the junk down here? How about this? Well, it's going to have to be here. So we can do this underground. And then we can just put our junk cards in here. 
Can you change the train tracks so that they're a space train track, or does it not matter? Do you mean this here with the bulk rail loader? Unfortunately, no. The bulk rail loader graphic actually has the regular train tracks under it. The reason that we see space train tracks here is because it just lines up in such a way... Um... Oh, wow. I didn't know they could be that close together. And they're like... Supplying each other. Okay. Um, the trouble is... If you put them like three tiles apart so that they'll line up with cargo wagons... What the...? There we go. If you put them three tiles apart so that they will line up with cargo wagons... Uh, one of them is just not going to work out that way. So basically they've got one tile sticking out of, bulk, uh, of regular rail graphic, and then this piece of space rail and this piece of space rail happens to overlap it. Um, yeah, until the model the, does something about that. I can either, like, put these closer together, which will work, but it'll look weird when the trains are loading, or we can deal with this. Okay, um, I also need to push this from here to here, and I'm gonna limit this one, but not this one, and we're gonna bump up our provide stack threshold a bit. Uh, not till 1200, though. Rackenzie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That should work just fine. So I think that is our build for... Oh, you can see the spinny gears. That makes it a little bit easier to confirm that these are all working without that one mod. Uh, I think that's our build for negative pressure data. Let's tidy it up a bit. Get out of here, you. Whoa. That's not what I meant to do. The holes go away. That looks reasonable. Yeah, this seems fine. We need to do the LTN inputs and station name, though. So we are requesting... Uh, scaffolds and swirly gigs and also negative 273 degree thermofluid it's going into, I believe it was a laser facility. And out pops negative pressure data. And then we just need to do the logistic train stop requests. Negative 100k. To request a hundred thousand supercooled scaffolding. Um, 
I think we can just request like 6k. And same over here. It'll schedule a delivery when we're down to 1,000. And considering it consumes 12 per second... Uh, we're looking at 81.7 seconds to deliver a resource in time before this has to stop. Cool. Actually, now that I look at that, how many tiles is this? 7, 14, plus 4 is 18. Uh, 9 times 2? Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Let's blueprint. Negative pressure data. At a whopping eight per second or something. And it was indeed laser facilities. And that's our build. And then we've got one more to do before Astro 3 can actually happen. I have to zoom out though after I come out of the editor. Also, we're still struggling here. We're out of steel plate again. How's our iron and steel been? Um, that's surprisingly bad. Did we run out of pyroflux or something? No. All of these furnaces are active, even though we're running out of. Oh. We might actually need an iron mine. Let me just look at the graph. Steel beam. Uh, no, steel ingot. Yeah, it kind of crashed a few minutes ago. That's kind of consistent, actually. Iron ingot has actually been increasing massively uh, lately, but there was a bit of a dip here. Okay, let's find ourselves a good old-fashioned iron mine. Uh, why am I searching here? Iron ore is what we're looking for, but we're searching for entity. And that's going to take a little while. Awesome cat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Iron mine entity. I mean iron ore. It is searching the entire planet. So it's not that shocking that it's taking a moment. It's a lot easier when we're looking for core seams or oil or something. There we go. Okay. So, I don't know where exactly I was pointed when I searched for it, but it'll be in a radius around there. We've got 1.4 mil right here that we haven't touched. Um, should probably start with that. I'm not sure why this 240k is separate. That's 13 mil right there. Okay. Hey, we don't have to go very far. For our iron right now. Let's get some mines in place. Might be easier to just do one this time. Happy New Year, Blue Lightning DT. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get our construction train over here. And wait indefinitely for the moment. Victor Magnus, good to see you again. 
welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, how about we use a substation pylon this time? And a beacon wouldn't be the worst idea. But we're going to need an unusual uh, configuration for it. Let's see. Five speeds is going to give us plus four hundred percent power consumption. Um, how about two more en efficiencies? We also need a substation pylon. Just the one, as a matter of fact. That has just a little bit of iron that we need to reach. And I would also like some drills over this side. And we're probably also missing out on just a little bit of iron over here. There we go. Oh, and also here. Fantastic. This one down here isn't beaconed. I think I'll move this down just a little bit. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Those two are going to run out pretty quickly anyway. And then... Then we connect the rail. Like... So? That'll work. Except we need to let the trains know that the roundabout isn't blocked. Oh, we do have a of chain signals there, but that's probably fine. Okay. I could probably update the lazy mines to use... Nope, I was going to say long arm inserters to swap between these two, but then we can't fit a drill there. Alright, next target is this 13 million right here. I should do an update for the lazy mine. Now that we've got lots of... Um, pylons everywhere. Uh, pylons and wide area beacons like it's nothing. Can I not? There we go. Okay. Uh, and I'll probably use blue belts almost exclusively. Except for this part where we want to make sure there's a gap on the belt. And then, why don't I put this up here? Because I often find myself wanting to add that. Maybe like that. It's easy to remove it. And that'll have full coverage. Oh, probably because it's going to be harder to like snap these together. Nah, it'll be pretty easy, I think. Right then. Uh, and then we could fit a substation pylon 
up here. Cool, cool. What about fitting it around a white area beacon as well, though? Oh, wow. That works. Maybe I'll just go with that. I think we had like three speed modules in here. I didn't actually check. Uh, three speed modules gives us negative 80% power consumption. Except for the 10 megawatt for the beacon itself, of course. What is this bottlenecking on? Oh, it's full, basically. It's sort of bottlenecking on this 30 per second right here. Because it's all coming from this direction. That's not too bad for one line. I'm not going to bother fixing it. Okay. Should I... Yeah, we can just remove that. That's a pretty good fit, actually. Alright, let's blueprint this thing. Let me just look at what I had here. Snap to grid relative 18342 and... Two. For the offset, why was that? I don't know. In fact, I th think this would actually... fit together really well with no tricky snap to. I could be wrong. Beacon... Lazy line with beacon. Rod 3 and speed 3. Seems good. Uh... What? Can I, like, offset it a little bit? So that it's actually... Oh, it needs to be relative. That's the problem. So it's actually in the middle of the cursor. There we go. Okay. So if I make a couple of these by just click-dragging, then we get rid of that beacon. It's all under the one beacon. That's looking pretty good. And then if I drag it... Well, let me just do this first. We need some more iron ore. Okay, if I drag it this way... Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. A thousand times yes. The laziest of mines. Let's put it in here. And then we are going to build one. See Moogle? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we are going to build a couple of these. Like so. And probably add some stuff around them, instead of adding even more of them. Uh, can our rail system... yeah it can. We can just take directly from the roundabout. Easy peasy. And we'll do a little pair of those there. How are you on this Sunday? Not bad, thanks for asking. And like this. 
and like this should be okay. Um, and we will of course need some more over here. They're not going to be under the beacon. Maybe that's fine. Maybe. Possibly not. What if I put a basic beacon there? Nah. We'll just leave that as it is for now. Alright, construction train, if you please. Show me what you got. Should be able to sort itself out down there. What is the purpose of the red wires in the lazy mine? Uh, it is so that we can tell when we should change the provide stack threshold from... Oh, did that say 160? Uh, I think it... I think it did. No, it says 100. So, okay, I'll... Do it somewhere, I'll, I'll demonstrate it somewhere where it's not like upside down and back to front. Uh, let's look at the editor. Alright, so all of these mines are connected by red wire. They are reporting how much ore they've got available. You do get a larger um, estimate because they overlap, but that's fine. Because we're just waiting to find out when there's nothing left. So when everything equals zero, we output provide threshold one. With my LTN settings, the default provide threshold and request threshold are set so high that they effectively don't exist. Um, I've got a provide stack threshold here. So once we've got a hundred stacks of... Uh, each resource, or a resource here, it'll allow a train to be summoned. But once we've once we've emptied the mine and there's not much left, uh, once there's literally nothing left to be mined from these drills, uh, it's going to trigger this condition on the decider combinator, which is going to output a provide threshold of one, which means if we've got literally anything, it will allow an LTN train to be scheduled. To pick this up. Uh, and that of course will get rid of pretty much the last of the iron. Instead of having like 70% of a train left here uh, and I have to come and change the provide stack threshold to one or something. Didn't know you could connect miners with logic? Um, we've been able to for a while but they added more stuff to them. You can actually enable disable them if you really want to. I think it had uh, this part, though, these three, everything except for enable, disable, um, for a long time. All right, let me see if we got that iron mine built. We mostly did. We also need a pylon over here. And we should be almost done reloading our train. Not quite. Also the vanilla miners? Oh yeah. You are at least able to read... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you were able to read the contents either of the entire mine or just the drill um, for quite a while. The only trouble with setting it to read from the entire mine is you have to guess uh, which mining drill is going to be the last one that dries up. Alright, are we good to go? Pretty much. Let's just go. Get this thing built for me. Oh wait, is it going to get stuck there? It is. Uh, that's why I carefully put it here earlier. 
Otherwise I'd have to manually drive the train backward. Oh, we're missing some rail here as well, so that's needlessly difficult to get to. Let's get you to visit here on the way back and here as well. Fantastic. Is this working? Oh, don't tell me. No? I was going to say, is this slightly out of range of the roboports, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Are we out of drills? We've got drills. Oh, I think this particular cargo wagon can't quite reach. Alright, so we park our train here. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And it looks like we can just reach to put the modules in as well. Uh, we do want separate wire connections for these two. And we do want a pylon substation over here. And I'm probably not going to worry about a beacon for these ones. That's just... Oh, I need to connect to these wires as well. That should all work. Oh, there's also iron over here. Why are you like this? It wasn't under the beacon anyway. No, the train's gone. Come back. Wait for some inactivity. NG, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Happy New Year to you also. Not Steel Mage, good to see you again as well. That doesn't sound right. I need to test how reading the entire mine works when the mine is drying up. Uh, okay. By all means, science away. That should help a bit. Should I do one more iron mine while we're still doing the same thing? Uh, this one's like 7.8 mil. Oh, wow. 20 million. Nom, 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 nom. Let's grab it. Yeah, I guess I just won't worry about that one. Need to get a construction train over this general direction. to be able to leave like so. Also, that should not be a regular signal anymore. Alright, construction train. Get over here. And it won't be able to leave from that position. This one might take a few trips to finish. Just just a just a few.
but it'll maximize how much we get for how little effort. No path, you don't see. We got full coverage already. I think we might. I could have built the blueprint without this rail sticking out the top, but it's fine. Could you please park yourself over here for now? And I will actually have to make sure you don't leave yet. Um, it looks like you can reach all of that and don't have anything left to add. Let's get a pylon or two over here. And I'll have you make trip after trip to get this thing built. Wait for inactivity, reload, come back, wait for inactivity, go back, reload. Wait, it's already back here? That's not right. You silly Brain. Needs one more pylon, it seems. Uh, does it? Oh, as in these just aren't reaching everything? Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, I could probably just move this one. I would prefer if we weren't wasting iron by not having the prod modules in here, but I'm not quite that obsessive to make sure that happens. Come to think of it, I don't have... I don't think the bots are going to run out of energy, but I don't have any solar in this. So it's theoretically possible that I could leave the train kind of stuck. But I think it'll probably be fine. We're out of wide area beacons down here. I, I just happen to be standing next to... oh. We don't have a Mercium plate here. Why is that? Uh, no really, why is that? Because we're not requesting it. That's that's probably why. It should already be on its way. Stack size one hundred. Is it not? It is connected. What's going on with LTN here? We've very clearly got more than 120 stacks of Immersium Plate. Provide stack threshold, which is switched on, 120. Destination full? Oh, that's the vanilla train. Um... I wonder why it's not being delivered. Mr. Zero? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Well, there's your problem. Well, there's your problem. 
Okay, let me take these uh, white beacons downstairs. Actually, come to think of it, can't we just make them downstairs? No, we need the energy catalogs. I'm not going to take those down the space elevator. I might eventually organize some automation to bring some finished products down. I've been procrastinating doing a smart train to bring stuff like uh, wide area beacons for a while. But, yeah. That should solve the problem. Yes, indeed. It's so bright here now. I'm not used to space being... being bright. I'm used to it looking like this. Okay, um, what are we doing next? We're still bottlenecked on blank cards, I'm not shocked by this. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, is that a problem? Did I not think of this? We're trying to output UV frames, which are saturated. Which means we can't output microwave frames, which are not saturated. Uh, yeah, we need some... Some output control on that. Wait, that's input. I could literally just set them all to don't output unless this is empty. same thing. That's x-ray. Need UV. Okay, and then we just need to make room uh, to fix that. Go do that now before I forget. Where's my elevator? This way. Here it is. Alright. Um... I guess just this once, I could... I could have done this remotely, actually. Just let that fill up. And as long as we've got gaps here, that'll work. Oh, there's already a train coming for this, but it says... No path. How does it have... Oh. Well, there's your problem. Uh, I don't have any space rail. Oh, yes, I do. Fantastic. I don't know why I had four space rail. But it got the job done. So now we're not outputting UV data. As long as there's a stack of it in here. Did you set the condition to empty? That still wouldn't work with the mixed items. Uh, there's only two types of items going in here. 
And I'm saying if we've got 50 of them, we don't output. Um, as for this one... Oh, those two don't go over here. It's only scrap and stuff. Scrap and junk data cards, so that shouldn't be a problem. So we should be able... to... copy, paste, flip that. And just change the settings. So this one is infrared. And this one is visible. And I'm pretty sure we don't need anything similar. Uh, we might need something similar down here, but not on this side. Actually, this one could block th the scrap and junk from these two. Which would effect uh, effectively block them, so yes. Okay, this one is Gamma Ray. This one is Radio Wave. And then... I don't want to have to reach all the way up here. I could just do like... I could just check this part of the belt, but nah. I'll just do another bit of wire connection here. Nico Busty, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, all the outputs... And this one's the X-ray. Uh, less than 50. Did I have those other ones set to less than zero? No, because I think I copy-pasted the settings from the others. And then I just cargo rocket did cargo rocket things. Then I just changed the settings. Cool, cool, cool. That should be fine. How's our blank data cards? Still lacking red circuits. Uh, that is some hilly production terrain. Okay. How does red circuits look? We're out of green circuits. Okay. That... I should probably just double this block. I think I will. Oh. Did our construction train finish the mines? I think so. There's still a couple of prod modules missing over here. Um, can it reach? It should be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise it wouldn't have been able to build it. Good to go. Wait for inactivity. See if we'll play. And once you've done that, uh, once you have done that, park yourself over here and we'll expand our green circuit build. 
which doesn't... oh. Oh no. I was going to say it doesn't seem to be having any uh, input troubles, but now it is. Okay. All right. I'd still like to double it while we're here. Don't forget the wiring. I think we've already got it here. Looks good to me. That didn't take a whole lot of effort to get built. Nice. Now we need to do something about stone tablets. Oh, well this is probably why. Considering this is our whole stone tablet build in all of the rail blocks. Uh, that's probably why we're not keeping up. Didn't use empty, but type X less than. So it's good. Fantastic. Alex Hudson. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you set the condition to empty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I left... I think I may have built this around a beacon earlier, actually. Um, and the rate once we give it the beacon is actually going to be quite high. That's probably why... Uh, that's probably why there's so relatively few machines. And we'll do the same thing here again. Whoops. In fact, can I do this? Who's... it's kind of hard to tell. I can't flip it with this thing, can I? I can. It just gets a little confused. Um, and I was going to say we could probably get rid of the old power cords. Looks like we can, but we'll have to find room for the one in the middle. Good to go. I should probably do a new build with the advanced assembly machines, but I'm kind of in a hurry right now. So how fast are these? Uh, 369 stone tablets per second. Yeah. That's a little quick. How fast are we consuming the bricks? 70 per second? That's fine. We need to go back for more blue belt. We'll have the train come back after one lap. And... We got this rail. Uh, and then we have to ask, can our stone bricks keep up? Which, considering that they're up here, probably not. 20, less than 21 per second. Okay, 
that might also be a problem. Um, we'll probably want to go for a different number of speed modules in this, but I'll double this as well. And once again, I think... I think we can remove all the old power poles here. Yes. Much more easily this time. Okay. This part should actually be fairly straight forward. down here. Uh, and then we'll need to do some... Oh, how much reach do you have? Almost enough. I'll stop you there indefinitely. Because I need to mess around with... Uh this thing. Negative 80% power consumption. There's only two prod modules. Oh, which means we can probably do more speed modules, actually. More than five. Let's try six. Whoops. Negative 50%. I can live with that. Especially since it's only 75 kilowatts each. How fast are we going? 62 per second. We're slightly bottlenecked on the output belt. Those double belts there are probably pretty unnecessary though. Um, how fast are these individually? Only 1.3 per second. Same thing over here. What? Oh, it needs to be blue belt. Okay. That won't bottleneck on the belt. Uh, what about the input belt? 108 stone per second. We're doing... Uh, 90 with these three. But 30 times 4 with the output. So... Blue belt this... Should make it keep up. 45 times 3 is 135. That'll be fine. And I hope we have enough stone. Judging by the fact that this isn't full yet, I think probably not. Or maybe there's train is in the way. No, they could go around. Alright, let's bring our construction train back here with more furnaces. And did I... 
I did. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, here comes some stone. That'll be nice and saturated by the time the train comes back. No furnaces in the train? Uh, there were only like... Oh, these were already, already here, weren't they? Wait for me... Uh, where should I put the furnaces? Maybe in the middle? Uh, electric furnace. 50. There we go. I think they're already here. They are not. Okay, could you stop for a minute? We need some good old-fashioned... Where do I want to put this request? Here we go. Electric furnaces. Should be a hundred on the way already. Uh, that's not... I know we've got electric furnaces in the mall because... Oh, God. Oh no. Um, I know we've got electric furnaces in the mall. Because we have to produce 8k so that they can be sent over here. Which they do get sent over there. Oh, here we go. Fantastic. Get over there. That should get it all reorganized. Uh, I should have added a, added a condition here of like five seconds of inactivity. Just until the bots catch up here. There we go. No, there's two more comp. No, there's three. There's four. Oh, God. There's such a trickle. It's going to move forward anyway. No. Hopefully it won't overfill anything. Love these inserters. Seems good. I hope. Okay. Fantastic. Back you go. Hopefully... Oh, I can just send you here. Hopefully this is the last upgrade we need to do to get our circuits going properly. You know, for a while. Obviously, we'll have to upgrade this again at some point. Considering that we're accumulating stone bricks... Um... And we're accumulating stone tablets? Are we short of something else? We are not. No, green circuits are everywhere. Wow, that was... That was quick. All right then, so red circuits are moving, right? They actually are. This one is still waiting for green circuits. 32,000 is 160 stacks, so yes, that request should work. 
Request stack threshold 100. This is 160 stacks. Um, is there a problem with this? Provide stack threshold 110. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it. That's why this one is totally full when this one has uh, just over a train load. I do like this build. It's it's very neat, very tidy, very fast. I like what these bigger machines and loaders and stuff allow us to do. Scaling up. All right. Uh, so what's our theoretical consumption of stone tablets here? Two hundred and eighty. Over here we can make 739 per second. <laughs> That's kind of fast. Uh, but only if we have 140 stone bricks per second. Which we don't, but we're kind of close. Hello, happy new year y'all. Valma, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where are those white locos from? The mod is called... Uh, SE Space Trains. And they add 25% uh, on top of the 80 stacks or 50k fluids uh, that these wagons can take. Also, the space locomotives are significantly faster. Although the... Um, by default, especially, uh, but even if you change it, the amount that they consume for the space train power packs is pretty damn bad. But it turns out uh, with K2, you can put vehicle equipment in the locomotives and they get a bunch of free acceleration with advanced electric engines. Uh, and basically that translates to a fuel saving as well. Uh, so these actually go quite far. You do have to recharge these space train power packs. 1% of the time they make a destroyed power pack, which you then have to take somewhere else, or maybe you, maybe you could fix it on the spot. I think it's a lot easier to centrally fix those, especially because they're actually quite slow. Like, very, very, very slow that it makes the destroyed power packs. Maintenance cost, I see. Yeah, it's a maintenance cost, but also it's more of a logistic headache than any other train fuel I've ever had to deal with. But, I mean, look how fast these things are. It's beautiful. I actually need far fewer trains with LTN because of this. And I found that when I replaced all my vanilla trains, uh, because I had that many fewer trains. Although now, because of the space elevator, I've got an awful lot of vanilla scheduled trains. One per, one per resource, at least. But, um, yeah, the, the slowdown from placing or removing a rail signal is significantly less than it was before. So that's nice. Ooh, more data. Yes. Alright, so... I see we're still producing a couple of blank data cards. Blank data card is just dropping off right now. But overall, we're going to be making a lot more for a while. How's... Advanced circuits actually looking. How fast can we make them? If this continues... Oh. Uh, because I don't have train limit management on the red circuits, the vanilla train's just going to keep going for the nearest one. Uh, the vanilla scheduled train. So 60 per second is still quite fast, I think. But our blank data card build 
can consume 45.6 per second. Okay then. Uh, and we've got this build that the vanilla train just won't come to. Oh, this one does have the train limit built into it. I should just put that back down here. Oops. So this will have a train limit of zero if... Uh, if it doesn't have 16k, that's the old numbers, I think. That's 80 stacks. We need 20,000. Or even more. Because it pushes to one side. Um, I could probably... Nah, I do want it to be able to accumulate a lot of red circuits. We'll keep this. Um, but I'll increase that provide threshold a little bit. 160 stacks for LTN, that seems fine. This is like 110 stacks. And I'll copy paste those settings over here. So then the vanilla train should be able to go to either of these. Uh, I think I might have to add a train stop to it though. Nope, we're good. We are good. It's going to the depot on both trips. Which research do the SE trains need? Oh, it's not that far into it. Space train? Space railway? Space railway. You actually get it with space rail. So as soon as you can do rail in space, you've got these uh, space trains. Very cool. Alright, while our materials are playing catch-up still... Actually, I should check that we're still getting all of our core fragments. We've definitely got Vulcanite. Um, these ones are looking a little bit slow. So everything else... Ruh row. You know what? I'll deal with it later. I, I want to build. Uh, yeah, we already designed... We've got one more design to go, but I, I want to build this first. Uh, we've got negative pressure data. And... I th think I'll put that up here. Let's get our scaffolding train to pay us a visit. And construction train to pay us a visit. That actually lined up properly. How's our power? Pretty good. Shipping core fragments, I guess at some point rocket fuel becomes a inexpensive. No, rocket fuel is the biggest uh, bottleneck. If I if I was going to do it over, I would go for the smallest planets early on. Uh, like, I would strongly prefer the smallest planets. And I would go for uh, what we have on VerbT, which is water separation. I would even do this on waterless planets, especially because I'm situated on a cryonite planet. So ice is practically free, it's just the logistics to get it there. But we're already sending ice in comparable quantities to the planets, um, to the waterless planets, because we're processing oil. So it's not that big of a difference. Um, and this way... We just send iron plate and, or maybe iron ingots and ice to get, uh, to get liquid rocket fuel. Um, so unless we stop sending iron here, this has, this place has infinite liquid rocket fuel. 
is just a bit slow. Um, but I've I've got a stopgap where one or two of our other outposts, Exorion and Gibble, I think, definitely Exorion. We're literally out of crude oil on this planet. Literally zero. Um, and I'll just show that I'm not, like, setting it up wrong. It does find the iron ore. Uh, and I think Gibil, I also set it up to receive solid rocket fuel, maybe? Oh. Oh no, we've got... That's right. Why is this saturated? Because this is saturated. Makes sense. I'm guessing this is bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel as well. No, this is just waiting to fill up. What about this one? This is also waiting to fill up. Okay, why have we stopped getting Iridium core fragments? We haven't? Are we spending that much electricity on... Oh my goodness, 2.5 megawatts each. Yeah, that might be it. Um... I think we've slowed down on Iridite because we're spending a lot of electricity on quarry drills. Uh, that explains that one. Okay. I'm not too worried about that for now. You can see the waves of production based on accumulator charge because the day here is quite short. Uh, what, what about Exorion? Exorion has a core fragment shortage. No, nope, this one's... F okay, this one has liquid rocket fuel. Uh, and this one doesn't. This one has core fragments, this one doesn't. That'll at least get this one launched, probably. Yes. Uh, are we still getting... Solid rocket fuel doesn't seem to be finding its way here. It was Exorion, right? Yes, it was. Exorion. Oh, it literally just sent a rocket. Timing. There we go. I expect we're still bottlenecking on making liquid, uh, solid rocket fuel on Hagen at the moment. Uh, we don't really need a beacon here because it does bottleneck on, or barely keeps up with the oxygen production. I should redesign this though. Definitely. But it'll do for now. I want to focus on getting spaceships and then we'll have a whole lot more throughput to play with and we won't have to mess around with cargo rockets. Where's our construction train. Oh, it's still back here, because I told it to wait for me, and it's just been sadly waiting for me this entire time. Okay. I'll make it do a couple of laps, just in case we need it. And... Negative pressure data goes here. Didn't realize Factory Search could do this. Yeah, it's an amazing mod. Absolutely love it. Never going back. 
Oh, we need laser facilities. Uh, 36 to be precise. Okay. Laser facility. And do we have those? We've got like 23. Multi-cylinder engines. I don't think I have an automatic supply of those here. I think I just brought a bunch of them over. I don't have a space elevator train for them. Rat nerdy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many things do... multi... multi-cylinder engines go into? This is all wall stuff. Uh, atmospheric condenser, not so much, but normally I'd make these on the ground. Maybe I should make locomotives on the ground and bring them up the ele uh, elevator. This is most of a stack of steel plate. 5% of a stack of electronic circuit. 30% uh, of a stack of multi-cylinder engines. And 10% of a stack of this. And this is 20% of a stack. How does that math out? Ten, fifteen, forty-five. Uh, plus 80, 125 divided by 4 is 31.25% of a stack. It's more stack efficient to bring up locomotives. So, depending on what else this goes into. Oh, yeah. We, I think we're going to do it, guys. I, I think... I think we're making a locomotive train. A, a train what carries locomotives. Um, 500 locomotives at a time. Because I can just make... Um, I can just make locomotives here, but then I should really bring up multi-cylinder engines that have been, you know, produced uh, efficiently with prop modules. If we're doing continuous throughput into science, I want to make the most of that. So yeah, I guess, I guess I'm making a train to bring the locomotives up the space elevator in vast quantities. But first... Are you not ready to go? Oh, you don't have all of the laser facilities yet? We're literally just looking for seven more. We need laser turrets. I've got laser turrets. Don't know if it's enough for seven more laser facilities. It's enough for five. God damn it. There's too many things that this is trying to make because... Because it's lacking resources, basically. Maybe more than a little bit. Hmm. 
Okay. How's our steel doing downstairs? Uh, it's doing better. It's very slow by nat- oh, wow. Yeah, that's- that's an improvement. That's what I want to see. Steel ingot. Oh, wow. Look at that pattern. So it's about to peak. And run out of molten iron? It doesn't look like it. Is it about to run out of coke or something? No? I think we're just about to witness that pattern of... Uh, steel ingot production. No, it's dropping off again. Why is it dropping off? I thought everything... I thought all the inputs were saturated. Oh, is it just the timing of the recipes? Oh. Fascinating. Okay. So actually... Actually, when we see this... Uh, it's not that resources are coming in and then it's eating them all up and then resources are coming in and then it's eating them all up. Ever since it started doing this, it's actually been going full speed consistently. That's kind of cool. Data is neat. 144 steel ingots per minute. I believe that's what this works out to. Yes. Perfect. It's been doing that for a while. Uh, it still takes a while to saturate to the point where we're going to have a train come and pick it up. But that's good to see. Alright. Um, am I going to have to like... Can we get more laser turrets? Like quick smart? Yeah, I think we can. There we go. We still need 10 per laser facility. But yeah, that'll get done. Um, our train is already scheduled to go deliver that stuff. I should just park myself over here. So that once it's done, I can put the speed modules in. And let's do our final build. Before we can get Astro 3. And we'll have to wait for some physical resources, no doubt. But uh, that's not that big of a deal. Well, it depends how long it takes. Space... Okay. So we needed the grav gravimetrics facilities, right? Uh, for I believe it was dark matter data. It is. And it's quite slow, so we probably want to fit as many of these as we can. Uh, there are no fluids involved this time. It's very simple. Two items in. A few items out. Nice and slow. Uh, it's actually not that slow. Oh, I, that was per minute. Okay, it's 60 times faster than this. 1.36 per second for each column. For each input resource. That's quite slow. Uh, 
fast and subtle. Don't think we're going to fit much more than that. Um, how many outputs do we have? Three physical outputs. Maybe I'll do a smart loader for the junk data and broken data cards because I really want to fit as many of these as possible in a rail block. Maybe I could actually fit three output stations down here. Just like... Not quite like that, actually. So normally if I put this here and we also had rail up here, we could just barely make them fit without blocking each other with the crisscross. But we've obviously got some leeway here. What if we do the same thing over this way? And then we've got some room over here. It's going to look a little scuffed, but actually that's not that bad. I don't hate this. We'll do the main output on the left, I think, because that's got the shortest path. It's also going to be the fastest. No, nope, the junk data is going to be the fastest. Well, the junk data can be on the right side, which also has the shortest access point. What am I doing? So these two will be active providers. Don't need any fluids. This will be junk. And this will be broken. And this will be Tyler Woodside. Dark Matter Data. Terror Rebel, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then we just need to... I'm pretty sure the whole block output is going to be it's like 20 per second we can put it all on one belt and just run it past some splitters what am I doing Space splitter. Merge it all and split it all again. Although this one could maybe go something like this. So we're just going to go... Dark matter data into here. Where's my loader? Hi, you have a relaxing voice? Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. And provide stack threshold is 100. Cool, cool, cool. And then we go... Same thing over here. One more splitter is all we need. I think we were saying junk data would go... Over this way. And 
and broken down here. What the? No. And then we just need our inputs, which we probably only need one station for, because we're consuming a whopping 20 items per second. Out of stack size 50. It's not that big of a deal. Parazis, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's that's a that's a loader. That's not an unloader. Um, the only trouble with this is we can't have more than one train in here at once. I don't think there's anywhere to fit the signals to make that work. But considering the rate, I don't think that's going to be a problem. It would take 459... 460 seconds to fill a train with junk data cards. Uh, 766 seconds for our dark matter data, and 1178 seconds to fill a train full of broken data cards. I don't think there's going to be that much traffic trouble here. So then we'll just go... Do I want to do this? Whoops. Uh, and the whole thing has... Less than one belt of input, that's fine. How's it going? You done anything different to your last playthrough? Oh, definitely. Where to begin? The rail blocks are smaller, for starters, and I'm using shorter trains. What are all these locomotives doing here? Um, I'm just going to push it all to one container. And we're only going to be asking for, like... 1.5 train loads of each at most. Those machines making data cards look new. Uh, they are graphically new, yes. But we did have gravimetrics facilities before. Um, what are we looking for? Gravitational lensing and negative pressure. Negative pressure. So with 1.5 train loads each, uh, we could have 20 stacks spare if they were all in here. So we'll just push all of that in here unconditionally. And then... Just need some splitters and stuff. What's the neatest way to do it, though? Maybe over here instead. It's going to saturate. We don't have to worry about, like, balancing it. That's it. Gravitational lensing, negative pressure, data. 
And then... Testing time. Set filters blacklist. And that's it. Simple as. I'm pretty sure that's going to work without any issues. Let's start tidying it up. Don't like these gaps. That sound though. It's kind of cool. Yes, master. Right away, master. Okay. Kind of makes it look like I should just fill this part in as well. Very neat build. I think that's it. Um, I need to name this station. Gravitational lensing plus negative pressure data goes into gravimetrics facility, outcomes, dark matter data. Lower right not working. But oh, this one. That's weird. Uh, is it just because I stopped giving it inputs? Was it just that it ran out first? I think it probably was. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think it works. Or... Yeah, probably. What's this guy doing? Just waiting his turn for negative pressure. It is taking its sweet time saturating. But that's to be expected, and that's okay. You know, looking at this animate almost makes me want to set up a system that would ensure they all stayed in sync forever. What do you guys think? I don't know what where I would draw the line for... making sure the input is saturated. But if we build the whole thing before we let any resources come in, ensure the whole thing is saturated, and then synchronize the input inserters, actually it still might be slightly out of sync. Because the inserters taking off belts are all random and grabby and fighting with each other would look so cool in sync. I could like, I could make it flow into chests to make sure, you know, we get a uh, direct insertion, which is very reliable. You know how tanks are not supposed to cross a bridge altogether because the synchronized vibrations kill the bridge? I think you'd kill space if you synchronized those grab facilities. Sync the power, control the output inserters to start at the same time. Uh, we get multiple outputs and we get random 
like it 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 averages out to not be random over time but we get random outputs from the machines so i'm not sure about that one hmm Should we do it? Okay, I'm, I'm just going to blueprint this in case I end up just sticking with it. Dark mat. whoops. Dark matter data. Eighty-six twenty-five one. Good to go. That's our build. Sync the data card, that's guaranteed. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we could like set filters. Now, if they're all fighting for the same data cards at the same time, it might not play out the way we want. Have you still not got all the laser facilities? You've got 25. Don't you need 26? 36, that's that's a considerably larger number. We're out of steel already, holy bananas. Um, I am going to arrange some steel. That's not that much, actually. Actually, let me just undo... Getting rid of that steel ingot build. Steel ingot. All of them. Steel ingot. Provide stack threshold. One. The mole should already be a high priority. There we go. And then we'll get rid of this. One point five K steel ingots are on the way. That should keep things going for a few minutes. Okay. How much time do I still have? Fifty three minutes? Cool. Before I die in space, that is. Okay. We've got plenty of room. I could do double belt inputs. How is it still going? Oh, I see. All right. Alton Z. need one of each, right? I'll set the uh, inserters to all have override stack size 1. Okay, that works. Some more over here. Okay. 
Whoops. Data gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're about to do some very unnecessary and cool stuff here. Buckle up. Uh, let me just copy paste flip this. That'll be easier. And then this side. Interesting in seeing this interested in seeing this kick off. Nice, nice. Um So whatever this one is, we could do it that way. And then this one. Uh, we're going to need both of those over here, actually. So, maybe like this. Not like that. Right. And we're also going to need... Where should I put it? This over here? What a mess. Let's just get it working first, and then we can maybe think about the aesthetics. Oh no, if those are together like that... What if I do it this way? That works. That works quite well. Except, no, that's that's fine, we're already doing that. The way things could be slightly out of sync, but not. Um, we need one of these over here. Is that it? Let's find out. Oh, I forgot to put in circuitry and stuff. Well, I should just see that the belts go where we think they do first. Missing an underground space belt? Over here? Yep, in the middle. Okay, Bershaza, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, how do I check that the entire belt is saturated without too much nonsense? Top left there is a stray belt. Top left there is a stray belt. I don't see it. Morpheus? Shmua? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's an additional lonely belt leftmost column above the top research server. Additional lonely belt? I'm so confused. Why are we bonking? What? I see it? Screenshot? Oh. Okay. <laughs> you got me. 
you're gonna laugh at me. I'm gonna cry. I could check like several points on the belt to make sure that all of it's saturated. Or I could make sure the points in front of all the inserters are saturated. Or I could check the front and back of the belts. Or something. Hmm. Well, let's try this for the starters. Uh, we're just gonna read belt contents hold. Does that actually... doesn't line up very well. I want it to be the same on all of these. Or pretty close to it. That's not too bad. Just copy paste some of this. Get rid of the rest. And I'm gonna put this here. God damn it. And can we reach across? I don't think so. Just set this to nothing. Okay, so all of those wires are connected? Nope, not quite. Wait, that looks a little weird. There we go. I believe they are... Okay, what kind of numbers we got? I could count them up manually, but this is easier, obviously. 192 each. Okay, so... I could set this to... Everything equals 192. Except if it's ever empty, they'll... All the inserters will try to activate. I could put a constant combinator next to it. Yeah, I think, I think we kind of have to do it that way. We need to connect it to all the inserters. Oh boy. Oh boy. At least they're going to have the same settings. Everything equals 192. And then 
uh, here. And then we need to do the same thing over yonder. I could do the wiring a bit more tidily, but I just want to see if it works first. And we connect that to our reed belts. So then all of the inserters Except these ones. Should be connected to that same... Why are you here? How dare you. That's not right. Okay. All the inserters and belts should be connected. Battery cell on the output inserters? Do not start unless all have outputted. Reason why filter with pulses? I don't think we need to go that far. Um, I can just put a constant combinator with... I could put a constant combinator with like one each of both resources. That's the wrong one. And actually set all of these to equals 191. Happy New Year. Horizon Effect, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated for the 16 months. There are no words, thank you so much. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Happy New Year indeed. Um, apparently I've miscalculated something. 193, yep. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, you know what I can do instead of changing all of those... Is I can set this to negative one. Alright, so theoretically, my brain is close. Uh, Uyghur, thank you very much again for the six months of the Prime. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And good call also. What do you guys think? If we decon this and put it back, is it going to stay in sync, or is it just going to be close to in sync? I don't think it's going to be far off in sync. So none of these inserters should pick up until the entire belt system saturates. They all have stack size 1. Each of them, each machine needs a long arm and a short arm for input. And uh, that's basically it. All of those sections of belt have to be saturated before before the inserters swing. I'm just hoping the slight variations in inserter weirdness are eradicated by this uh, this setup. Why do you need them to sync? Because it's cool. That's the idea. Here we go. <sighs> yes. Yes. It's alive. 
Perfection, indeed. I'm gonna copy-paste this in case I mess up. And I'm just gonna tidy up the wires a bit. Fantastic, indeed. Look at that. That's nice. That, that exceeded my expectations, honestly, somehow. And it shouldn't take long. If, if we stop uh, feeding it... It shouldn't take too long at all before all of them stop at the same time. Although they will have a couple of recipes of input in there already. Even the beacons are synchronized. Can the beacons be desynchronized? Oh yeah. Yeah, they definitely can. The beacons are synchronized because I deconned and then undid. Minimum sky. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's uh let's reactivate this and confirm that it'll It'll be resilient against messing around with it. Oh, yes. That is so satisfying. I love this. Okay. Now let's just uh, tidy up these unnecessary wires that are very, very visible when we zoom out like this. Um, uh, that could probably go there. I don't suppose these two would reach each other, not even close. And we don't need this, and we do need that. One is out of sync top left. I mean, I started messing with it, so... Yeah. Don't worry, I made a backup. Uh, like this. Probably should have just done it this way to start with. Why don't I do half the block and copy, paste, flip it? Seems good. Because the belts are going to be all over the place. We can work around that. Okay. We need this stuff for the copy paste. Um, I think that's about as tidy as it's going to get. Don't need the combinator on this side. And... This goes... here, I think. Oh, it's already connected. Yeah, that, that should... Um, probably work. We don't need this extra... Oh. Oh no. Oh no. We don't need this extra series of connections either. Alright. I think that's close to as tidy as it's going to get. Let's test it again. Might be because you checked below this time, so it ran or one more recipe? We'll see. Alright, so I'm gonna decon. 
undo connect Oops, I was muted. All right, last test. And it's gonna take a minute. Well, well, 30 seconds to a minute, I would guess, for this to finish saturating. And as soon as it does... As soon as it does... Uh-oh... How much is connected to this? 167, that is a weird number. Oh, I, I know what the problem is. And I'm pretty sure... Yep. Wait, was that one slightly out of sync there? It's hard to tell. Oh, I think it is. What was up with that? I'm pretty sure it's because I was, I was messing with it. Because I was, like, editing it live. They should all be good to go now. Once that hits 191 for each of those resources. Is the input amount always the same? Uh, yes. It's always one-to-one. -one. For this recipe. Outputs are a bit random, but that's not affected by what we're trying to do. Or well, what we're trying to do isn't affected by that, either way. Here it comes. Beautiful. That's the build. That is the build right there. Let's get rid of that extra scarf. And that'll be it. Uh, what was the data card called? Dark Matter Data. I think I want to do this anytime we've got gravimetrics facilities. Dark matter data sync. Cool, cool, cool. That's all our test inputs gone. 86.25.1. Oh, and our automatic emptying as well. And I believe that's it. Okay. Let's actually build. Oh, uh, speaking of which, our train has come and done that. But we made this mistake again. Holy crap, that's a lot of very cold thermofluid. Um, needlessly delivered. I wonder how much we've got here. Not that much. Let's have you go back uh, here. Wait for empty cargo. And if I need to... Oh. Oh, we normally don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just turn these around. Wow, that, that was fast, actually. That was very fast. Cool, cool, cool. 
that was easier to fix than I anticipated. I need some bacon. Uh, we should have some more up here. We do. Fantastic. I need some more speed modules to finish this build properly. Wait. No, I don't. Probably do for the next one, though. Uh, and I definitely want a new synchronized build here. Let's park over this way. Wait for inactivity. Then we'll take the construction train. Still struggling to make the laser turrets, that makes sense. Actually, let me just ride the construction train. Sigma Beam, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this might take more than 30 seconds. Oh, the construction train's helping with the scaffolding. So its inactivity timer will be longer. Uh, even so, I might need to make it wait here indefinitely for now. How is... We need Astro Insight, Material Insight. Can we get Material Insight yet? We need Catalog 2, which is probably just waiting on materials. We still don't have uh, locomotives here. I do want... Oops. I do want the 749 or whatever it was locomotives that I had built in the mall get delivered. Oh, they did? There's only 18 here. But they're not here. I could have sworn we made a bunch of locomotives, but not quite 700-ish. How far through are we? We are creeping towards Astro 3 and spaceships. Uh, we've built Material 2, Energy 2. We're just about done building Astro 3. We're a bit short on some materials. But the work is mostly done. I was actually going to make a build downstairs to build uh, locomotives. Or maybe I could do them from this uh, mall. That might not be the worst idea. How many, uh, how many stacks do we need to offer this to the rail network? 200. That's kind of a lot. It's fine. Let's do some filtered storage chests over here. Locomotive. I think it's a bit much making a dedicated build for locomotives. Probably. Uh, 200 times 5 is 1,000. So... 1,020. Seems good. That'll kick in within 30 seconds. Uh, and we obviously don't have as much trouble getting steel up there. 64... I'll turn this off for a sec. It's already turned off. 64 gravimetrics facilities. I don't think we have that. We have zero. Let's see what it takes. You'll need thousands of locomotives over time. Yeah, but the rate that we consume them, even if this block's going at full speed, is less than 0.2 per second. Can't you upgrade the autocrafter now? Uh, I could, I guess. 
How fast does this make a train? 0.075 per second. 0.075 per... Okay, how about per minute? 4.5 per minute. That's a bit easier to remember. Versus... 10.2 per minute. Oh, no. Maybe I should do a dedicated build for... Locomotives. Before I forget, I need to check that we've got everything. Oh, yeah. We've got everything we need to make gravimetrics facilities. I don't have to add any more logic there. Okay. What was I doing? I wanted to pick up some modules. That's the other reason I'm physically coming down here. Nice. Maybe a few more efficiency. That not that many efficiencies. Do not cross the tracks. Everything needs a dedicated build. It's the KSSE way. I could do it right next to uh, multi-cylinder engines. I guess. What do we need the most of? Steel plate. And in terms of stack density, we need the most steel plate as well. Okay, what's our target? I kind of want to tune it to that somewhat. At least this time. 10.2. Just over 10 per second. Uh, I need to resupply properly. Oh boy. Okay. That's... Inventory's getting a little full there. Locomotive. I don't think we're going to need that many machines to keep up. This is five per minute already. Just two of these. Well, slightly more than two of these. If I did Autocrafter with these machines, it'd still just do it with one machine, so that wouldn't cut it. Um, I've decided not to make a thousand locomotives in the mall, actually. Help, where do I turn it off? Oh god, oh no. Oh no, where is it? Stop. Stop the madness. Where? Where's the setting for the locomotives? Uh. Um. I I genuinely don't know. Or was that not even where I think it is? No, that's right. Where is the locomotive setting? Is this it? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Got it. Jakubaz, Fable, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So just one of these actually gives us 13 locomotives per second. Maybe I should just put this in the mall. Maybe that's all we need, instead of having a separate rail block area. I'd like to put it under the beacon that we've already got, though. What a mess. Oh, this is an old shopping list. We don't need that. Or something like that. Um, active provider will do the trick. That'll do. 
Maybe I'll make something a bit tidier. Uh, where do I want to stop? When we've got 200 times 5, 1000. Locomotive less than 1000. Seems good. Oh wow, the stack insert is actually struggling to keep uh, keep up. Why are you asking for 700 steel? That's not going to make a difference. Just just get a hundred of everything. I mean, that's close enough. Okay. Um, and we're gonna want probably another one of these weird little stations until I think of something better. I don't want to take this prime real estate with it, actually. How about here? That's pretty prime as well, actually. We can always rearrange the stuff. Hey, we've not mined this Holmanite still. Wow. Okay. Construction train. Park over here. Wait for... Um, actually, I will make this a bit longer. Okay, we're gonna have a unloader. And we're gonna have a loader. And it's gonna be... as far up here as we can fit it, potentially. Does that reach the middle? Perfect. Okay. Actually, actually, let's make sure we don't have to deal with the belts moving uh, nine stacks per second. That's that's a few too many for my liking. to 50 stacks. Uh, I need a vanilla train stop, actually. I mean, I don't need it, but this tells me that... Wait, what? Oh, it's hard to see because of that. Okay, this goes here. We're going to request locomotives. One thousand. Shupin. Locomotive requester. It's going into... Oh, we do have a vanilla train stop here. Nice. I'm realizing that if the vanilla train blocks the LTN train, there could be problems. So, no, wait, no, wait, come back. No! I wasn't finished. It's my fault for setting it to 30 seconds. Um, do 
just wait until empty or something. Do you always just max out speed and prod modules in your builds? Uh, I get minimum power consumption and then maximum prod and then maximum speed. Or rather, like I get all three of those in no particular order. That's what I'm going for. But I will... You know, I will accept, like, negative 70% power consumption, as opposed to negative 80, for example. Can we update? No, no, no. Okay. I'll only get rid of the old power poles around here for the moment. And then... We need a decider combinator? Because vanilla trains or schedules. Um, basically, we're going to say train limit. What's the station name here? Provider and then vanilla train stop. Locomotive, provider, vanilla train stop. Set train limit based on L. L is dependent on 5 times 100, 500 stack. Well, not 500 stacks, 100 stacks of locomotive. And I think that's pretty much it. So locomotives should get delivered here automatically once we've got a thousand down here. They're not being put in these storage chests, probably they're being put in here. Taking its sweet time. Um, and then we need a vanilla schedule. Space train. I need more room in my inventory. Uh, and then we need some. Battery charge, there we go. Okay. Loco mode. Oh, wait, I need to do one upstairs first. I think I have to make a new block for this. Unless. Is this any different? I, I think I would like to keep this entire block for stuff that's going down the space elevator. Even if there don't end up being that many things, it's just better organized this way. Okay, so locomotives, we may as well park them right next to our locomotive, uh, locomotive drop-off here. Um, I guess if the train goes this way, that'll work. Let's grab our blueprint for this. LTN to vanilla. No, we need vanilla to LTN. Here it is. Grab the scaffolding train. Park it over here. Grab the construction train. It's not here still, because I told it to stay there, probably. No? Oh, I set it to manual, yeah. Alright. Go read supply, and then come back here. And wait for an activity. Fantastic. The trains are actually so much faster than spiders. Turned out to end up with uh, 
just a better way to build the space base. Because I didn't have spiders for a long time. Or I won't. Alright, and then we're going to configure one of these ones to be locomotives. Because they're going to have a very... Oh, no, one of these ones. They're going to have an extremely short path to deliver the uh, locomotives. That one right there, actually. Mr. Ray Ray, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Happy New Year also to you. Uh, train should be on the way. I just heard the sound. Fantastic. I wish it would minimize corners, actually. Anyway, here it is. Now we can set this station name here. As locomotive. And I'll enable that immediately. And then we can go locomotive. Uh, wait till full cargo. Wait till empty cargo. Don't need to wait five seconds at the depots. And I think that's it. Go wait at the depot until vanilla locomotive pickup is full. I think that's all it takes. So now I really want to see that thousand locomotives. We've got 376. Let's make it a little faster. <laughs> Just this once. So that'll give us... If the bots can keep up. 126 per minute. So like... Well, let's see. If we want a thousand... It's like 500. It's still like almost 10 minutes. Uh, so like seven more minutes, if the bots can keep up. That's, that's an if. Give me some steel plate. Yeah, give me all of that. Put it in here. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Was that the only thing material is short on? I doubt it. Uh... No? Yes? What? Is this busted? Oh! Yes it is. Yes, yes it is. I'm gonna turn off the request for cosmic water and get rid of this pump, actually. Because we need to have space in the fluid system here for these to be able to output. Ben Wu, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. El Waito, are you winning, son? Indeed. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Also, how's your stream today? Satisfactory? That's all the rage right now. Was there an update or something? This is working. This is asking for material packs. It's very hard to keep up with material packs. We're going to need more trains. Material packs are currently bottlenecked on... Um, on purple stuff anyway. But when the time comes, I'm pretty sure we're going to need multiple trains taking material packs up the elevator. Orth Garen, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Skipped update 6, and now it's up to 7, so lots to catch up on. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, I see all of these data cards saturated for tier 1. Rigidity almost has a train load. Corrosion is like halfway there. We're working on pressure containment data now that I fixed that for the moment. Uh, maybe... Maybe once we get a thousand... We're only going to get 250? Oh no, it's not 25%, it's 25. We're going to get 25,000 impact shielding data for each train load of locomotives. I, I think that'll last a little while. Um, that's five train loads for one train load. Yeah, that's not bad. Cool, cool, cool. How's energy science? I believe we've already got... Oh, yeah, we've got broad catalogs, but they're not all just yet. How are they all on the right side? Oh, right. I set this to be short trains. I might never have long trains picking up broad catalogs. I might have to change this. Uh, we'll, we'll give that a thunk. Anyway, we've already got broad catalogs brought to science. Uh, it's literally just waiting for SIG data. SIG data is waiting on... Astro and Material Insight. Material Insight is waiting on broad, which is waiting on what we just looked at. Uh, Astro Insight... I don't think I have a build for yet, actually. Oh no, here it is. We did that a while ago. It's waiting for all three catalogs, of course. Did we get our... I didn't even ask for them yet. Uh, 64 gravimetric facilities. And, no, I meant 64. There we go. They are not on their way. Where are they? Oh, they're already in here. We have 11. That's not as many as I was hoping for. It's going to take a while to catch up from our iron bottleneck, molten iron bottleneck that we had earlier. Maybe I should even do another block to make steel? It would still take just as long to get the one train load of steel ingot, but like... Well, maybe not, since this is still supplying I uh, steel plate. Iron ingots actually are saturated now. That's that's a good thing to see. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. Very good. How many ingots do we make? Oh, sorry, no. How much... Um, I guess the question is how much surplus uh, molten iron do we make? But I guess most of it is surplus now. Net rate 164 if we're making iron ingots at full speed. And this needs 1.2k molten iron. Uh, it sounds like we don't need another one of these blocks. You know what I could do though is just give it beacons. Lazy mode activate. Glad to see you at 60 UPS. Thank you, I think. Oh, we're down to 59.9. Alright, let's beacon it up. Before I do... Okay, so these are going to have speed 2s. 
Frosty thingies. That's going to be a lot of modules, I think. Maybe not as many as I think. It's 2 times 240. Yeah, I might run out at the moment. I've got five left. Brilliant. Let's bring construction train over. Uh, wait for plenty of inactivity. Alright, beacon time. We can cover all of these with beacons, right? Yes. That's why I built it this way. This is still minus 80% power consumption. That's still minus 80%. Could I please... Oh, that was dangerous. Could I please borrow some speeds? Thank you. Minus 50% power consumption. They don't spend that much power, so I'm okay with that. Okay, so what's our rate now? We can consume 43 coke per second and 3.6k molten iron. Um... Considering we're bottlenecked on 15 coke per second with the belt. And the best we can do with the belt... I was going to say the best we could do with the belt is 22.5, but maybe this is a good place to actually make the higher tier belts that we have access to. They're pretty expensive, but we can make them in limited cases for now. So we could go as high as 90 per second. So 45 per second on one side of the belt, which would keep up with this. Yeah, that works. For the moment, um, I'll give it some, some blue belt. Oh, I didn't need that to be blue belt. Whatever. Just, just make it all blue. It's fine. Are you actually not able to reach that? No, you are. Oh, we didn't bring that much blue belt? But we did. The bots are confused. Give me that. Might as well go all blue belts? Yeah. It's like, whoops, I made a clean spot. May as well clean the whole thing now. I could also... Actually, I have, I have an easier way to get 45 per second here. Wait, no, that's just gonna... I would need to insert it over here somewhere. Like, right here, actually. Well, we can do that. That's a surprisingly nice fit. Okay, that goes to the right. Fantastic. Not this again. Bots, you're giving me a headache. There we go. Alright, that should give us 45 per second using half belts. Without any of your fancy schmancy belts that need purple stuff. Um, I fully expect... It, it'll take a little while to saturate, because um, we got 45 per second coke that can come through the belt. This consumes 
But that said, I fully expect it to catch up with the Molten Iron. Even though... Even though Iron Ingots are saturated and we're barely making Iron Ingots at the moment. Um, I expect there to be a bit of a avalanche in the near future. Uh, but yeah, that is a nice flow of steel ingots for now, though. That'll catch up sooner rather than later, by comparison. Sir so JMO, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You may go. And... Not you, JMO. Uh, do we have... 64 gravimetrics facilities. Beautiful. Build it, build it, build it, build it. So is that actually everything? I think it might be. Uh, we don't have astrometric data because we need all of the observation data before this works. And we are missing... We've got UV. Oh, X-ray, sorry. What are we missing? Microwave, radio, gamma. Radio gamma is here. Radio wave is actually mostly full. Gamma is full. Oh, there's a train coming for it with no path. Because there's a little bit of... There's literally one piece of rail missing. Okay. Uh, is that our construction train? Yes, come back. No, you're too fast. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my goodness. I literally can't keep up. There you go. Uh, so this one's this one's full and waiting to be delivered. This one radio wave is lacking radio telescope stuff because. Because 25 degree thermofluid isn't picked up because I didn't uh, connect to this wire. That's a relatively good reason. Like, it's a bad reason because I made a mistake, but we're definitely not short on materials to get this done. Exciting. Same mistake over here. That's microwave. Weren't we short on microwave? We were. And that just leaves Gamma, which is uh, over here, which is actually... Huh? Oh, which is working right now, actually. I wonder what it was missing a moment ago. Was it literally just the rail was busted? Is no, we, we replaced this little bit of rail. I don't know how that would have affected Gamma Ray. Uh, but whatever the case, it is incoming. At 16... Oh, sorry. Uh, 4.5333 per second. We've got like... 20 stacks of 50 that we need to fill. It's like... It's like, uh... Four minutes and we should have potentially everything over here. Cool, cool, cool. Missing one more rail piece in that block up top. Oh, yes. The exact same mistake we've seen before. Okay, and the con the poor construction train just got back. Well, back to it. Actually, it's still getting loaded. As long as it has space rail, it's fine. Oh, it's getting loaded with uh, all of the 64 things we don't need anymore. Fix that. Okay, you can skip 
coming back to the emptier this time. Actually, you probably can't. No, it'll be fine. We can just empty that with the inserter. Alright, astrometric data, microwave, we know that's coming. We're going to need two train loads before we can get one train load of each of these. Uh, I should probably consider right now, do I want catalogs to only ever be in short trains, after all? Uh, I need to go through, like, every catalog to check. It does go into modules. That's going to add up quickly. Okay, I think I can probably leave it as it is. Um, gravitational lensing and gravity wave. Do I have a build for those that I haven't placed? I think we're missing a couple of builds still. Three, six, and then nine modules? Just push to the front? Uh, I'm thinking about it. It's only efficiency, how many high tier ones are actually needed of those? Oh, for the stuff that requires... Are you talking about specifically like Astro catalogs or... Or catalogs in general. I'll revisit catalogs and see if we don't need long trains to deliver these anywhere. Won't be that big of a deal. I can just like move this once. The efficiency specific ones, okay. Uh, but yeah, I think... I think... Gravitational Lensing and Gravity Wave. I may not actually have made a build for? Really? It's not in this thing, is it? No. No, I think we've got like two more builds to go that I some somehow skipped over. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Look at it go. Perfectly synchronized as all things should be. Uh, but I think that is going to do it for today. If we were actually as close as I thought we might be to, uh, to Astro 3, I might have kept going a little bit longer today. But uh, we'll do it tomorrow. I'm sure that'll that'll happen. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Specifically SE and or K2, if we can. We got Mr. Dane going for a Stargate victory. Uh another one trying space exploration. I think we've got two choices. All right, let's let's have a look at the Stargate Victory one, perhaps. Renner's new streamer. Uh, I don't see them playing Factorio though. I'm trying to give people what they're already watching, more or less. Not gonna lie, I love that spinning animation, indeed. Uh, Midden, by the way, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I did not know that Crestoria 2 and Space Exploration works together. Oh, and hey. Uh, Zand? D DK Zand? Welcome, welcome. Also, I think we will try this one, perhaps. Let me just check that we can chat there and stuff. Oh, be right back. Maybe we'll have a peek at this one. Seems good. Oh, I like the uh, 
I like the aesthetic. He's put some effort into that. Let's check this one out. Mr. Dane. Yes. Alright. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the discourse of the blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow, I think we will be doing... I, I think we will see our first uh, Astro 3. And finally, finally our rail-based uh, orbital science is going to come alive. Take care, Dardano, and everyone else. Thanks for hanging out. That was pretty good, actually. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, also, a wall. Do I have a wall here? Yes. No, I've got the other kind of walls. <laughs>